Yes, that's right. Robin Akiva Nita podcast number episode 183. And we are here with a game that one man on the podcast has been working very hard on. Make sure after everything goes super smoothly here today, Mm -hmm. be sure to give all of the flowers to the man that this game comes from the mind of. It is Akiva Winokur. People think like, oh, that's so nice. Rob is like giving Akiva a compliment for working many, many hours this week on the show. Really, what he's doing is throwing me under the bus beforehand. What do you he mean? Knows anything, anything that will go wrong. He knows. All right. It's Akiva. I had, Rob is just saying I had nothing to do with it. Washing my hands of it already. I'm just I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm projecting. I mean, just to pull back <laughs> the curtain here for a minute. I mean, Akiva just told us right before we came on. Hey. This is going to go very smoothly here today. I've worked I've worked out all of the kinks. This is going to be uh, my my magnum, magnum opus. opus. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that happened. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would. I would say if like if we're able to crown a winner, I'd say it's a it's a success. OK, dual intentions, dual intentions uh, here where we are going to take go for Akiva, Akiva pitch this in the uh, Robin Akiva reverse one episode 180 mailbag. Mm. We were going to go from 10 down to one. People were going to be dueling with each other, knocking each other out of the competition. And yep. so that is exactly what we are going to do here today all right akiva and we're coming Mm -hmm. off of a great episode where we talked about rrr with sasha joseph Mm -hmm. uh we had a great the winner of the hot takeoff rayanne joined us on the mailbag a very Mm -hmm. fun episode if you missed it last week but akiva we've got a lot to get to here today so why don't you tell us uh okay 10 people are here or uh more yeah 10 Mm -hmm. 10 uh well do we count hmm. i don't think we count i don't think we count yeah we're people all right, Akiva, why don't you tell yeah. us about, uh, all right, we're, we're, we're going to set up uh, who's here, and then we'll tell the listeners how they can uh, play along. Oh, uh, yeah, assuming they can play along. Uh, yeah, so the episode is called uh, Dual Intentions. I guess you could put the T-E-N in intentions in capital letters if you were, mm-hmm. you know, being the graphic for this episode. Oh, see, have... I thought it was not the word T-E-N. I thought that the I and the O in intention oh, yeah, you're right. would be you did the that. Num- that was a good yeah. thing. Can someone remind Sam of that? Because I feel like the graphic's probably already made, and he doesn't mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a great. Yeah, that was your call. I forgot about that. That's I'm just great. trying to think it through. What would be better, that or cruel in in ten? Uh, maybe like a different color. Yeah, yeah. dual yeah. intentions. Uh, I guess it could go either way. Yeah. So to let people know what we're doing, it's a it's a series of mini games. We've done it on the podcast before. Here, the uh, conceit is that there are ten teams, nine solo teams, one duo, and uh, they will be playing a series of games to work their way down to one. Um. Winner stays with us for the mailbag if uh, if they're not asleep at that point, if it's not their bedtime. And then um, are you yeah, kicking we'll, off all the losers? I think we are kicking off. all the. I mean, in theory, <laughs> what do you think? Should they stay here muted? I mean, I'm sure a lot of them have places to go and like they want to leave. I kind of feel like that if we invite people to mm-hmm. come on the podcast yeah. and they're nice enough to show up, if they yeah. want to stay, I think, it's, I think it's rude to kick them off. I will say because I'm nothing if not eternally prepared. I did email them and I said, like, just FYI, like there's two downsides to coming on the podcast. We want all of you. This is our, you know, we're, we're thrilled to have all of you. Two downsides. One, At least. You have to, yeah, you have to watch the uh, execrable 1999 film Cruel Intentions, which okay. I apologize in advance to all of them for making them do. I have not seen yep. it since 1999. Didn't hold up quite like I remember. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, and uh, I didn't understand most of those words. I was a kid. And um uh, and, and the other thing is, you know, someone, at least one person is getting knocked off, you know, right away, basically. OK, so they all nobody said, sorry, I'm out. They all they all agreed to the TNCs. OK. All right. Mm-hmm. So, Akiva, why don't you tell us yeah. about our uh, the, the 10 invitations that you handed out for dual intentions? Um, OK, sure. Uh, all right. We have um, 
a returning champion of many internet games to the podcast. He's been on the podcast many times before. Please welcome Puya Zanvakili to the Puya. Podcast. Hello, I'm here. I'm excited. I will say though, um, we got lost in translation. I heard Dual Intentions, so I watched Cruel Intentions too. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully, there's I'm a cruel fine. intentions too. Oh, there's, there's what, three, three of them. There's oh three. my god, I just Don't, thought it was you can't two, watch so three with Dominic and Anthony around though. Um, mm-hmm. so we'll see how that treats me. We'll find but, out. Akiva, are, are you like a cruel intentions uh aficionado that you know the plot of the third one so well? Let's just here's I had to do a lot of research for this episode. I was you know looking up questions and okay. Second one, I believe, stars maybe Amy Adams, like before she's famous. Hmm, okay. All right. Um, yep. So Good luck today, excited. Puya. Yes. It'll be an experience. Uh, uh, j- next up, we're just going in order of uh, of my Zoom. We have um, longtime Renap staple, fan favorite, TikTok Nicole. Nicole Horn is here. Nicole, how are you? Feels good to be back. I like being on the other side. I don't have to ask the questions. I'm just in the passenger seat and we're driving. Okay. Uh, Nicole, after you did such an expert job on around Nicole Horn, uh, do you have any advice on how to moderate a panel as large as this? Akiva, just be yourself and everything will be. That's what Rob told me not to do specifically today. (laughs) I believe in you, champ. You got this. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Who else is here, Akiva? Yeah, uh, you know her from getting married on this very program (laughs) just one year ago. Please welcome Kelly White to the stage. Kelly White. Hello. What a wild introduction. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm so, I don't know, thrilled to talk about this movie. Unclear. Yes. Okay. Uh, Kelly, so nice to have you back. It's such a big week for you. Uh, In addition to being here with us, I know that Nathan Fielder also made uh, his return as the uh, Nathan for Us podcast has uh, covered uh, Nathan's new show, The Rehearsal. Yeah, we're back from the dead. Um, I am a self-proclaimed Nathan Fielder expert, so hopefully that comes up somehow today. Okay. All right. Well, good luck in the game today. Akiva, who else is here? Yep. We have uh, none other than the Renap on Bud's person herself. Aisha's here. Aisha, how are you? I am so happy to be here today. I'm with some of my favorite podcasters. I'm going to try really hard not to fangirl on some of y'all, but I'm very excited to talk about this movie. doesn't hold up as well as I remembered it either in Kiva, so don't feel mm-hmm. too bad. But it was a lot of fun to rewatch. Okay. Aisha, were you a fan of the film in the real time? I was. I was 17 when this came out, and I love this movie. I have this movie. My daughter stole it from me, and I had to use one of those shades oh my God. to watch it. But I love this movie. I used to watch it repeatedly as a teen. Okay. Starring noted uh, three-name celebrity, uh, Sarah Michelle Galar. <laughs> okay all right akiva who yeah, else is people here people keep moving for me on the zoom so we're gonna end up introducing someone twice <laughs> I know he moved in the picture but we have uh returning champion uh fan favorite host of nothing but netflix on rob as a podcast our our sister show our cousin show i don't know whatever it is please welcome Chappelle. <laughs> Chappelle. hi y'all um I thought my claim to fame was being Kelly White's best man here. That's right. That's true also. Yeah. I thought it was the king of out. Twitter. No, no. The king of being best man on Zoom call weddings. Um, so mm-hmm. that is me. Uh, I have seen this movie before. I promise. Okay. Oh, so you're saying you didn't watch it for the show. <laughs> All right. Like, we got a Puyo, first point, everyone. Puya watched uh, Cruel Intentions 2. I might uh-huh. just watch Not Another Teen Movie again. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. I think I can make my way through this one. I think I'll be okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Were you? Did you ever like uh, not study make it for through all five? Just like BS your way through a multiple choice test because we'll find Who, out me? how that went. <laughs> yeah, you just do like it's called Abstidy. So it's an A B C D E, mm-hmm. and then you do Abacadabra as well. So you know, <laughs> okay. work that out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Fair ways. All right. Good luck, Chappelle. Okay, Kiva. Who mm-hmm. else is here? Uh, we have first time guests. We've wanted him for a long time. Here he is, host of the wrestling, uh, RHP wrestling with a hap up and the relatively new show Pod Friends. Please welcome Matt Scott. Matt Scott, how are you? Yes, thank you for having me, Rob. Always great to see you. Great to podcast with you, Akiva. What were you thinking? What is going on here? You talk about the movie? What's this movie? Yeah, what's this What's movie? It? It was when I, it was, I'm we're older than you, Matt. 
It was a different time. The 90s were <laughs> wild. I'm 30. I'm 30. I'm not like this. I'm not a child, Akiva. It's, it, was it was wild everything. back then. I Even more wild then. now. Come mm-hmm. on. Mm-hmm. I'll hang in there, but I, I'm, I'm oh, wait, questioning the movie, my everything else right I did. The, the movie was Rob's idea. So um, wow. I've never even seen this movie to, 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 but, to this day. But you came up with the wordplay. Oh, well, it, it was good. <laughs> it, look, the wordplay is good. All right. It's that's great. how we. All right. See? Yeah. The, 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 the wordplay is unimpeachable. Yeah. We did an alley oop. It was just on our own basket. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Okay, we have we have eleven we have eleven uh, uh, contestants. We have one um, one couple competing as a duo, a la Jenny Autumn and and Phil, who've done that uh, on this show before. Please welcome first time uh, first time guests Nigel and Kevin to the stage. Hey everybody, Nigel here. We watched the movie last night. I win knowing absolutely nothing about it. Mm-hmm. It was unhinged from start to finish. <laughs> yes. And I'm hoping that's exactly how like today's this game podcast. Is go yes. As well. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but we loved it. I think we loved okay. it. At the end of the day, it is a story about emotionally stunted wasps. And I say I stand. I, I love <laughs> seeing white people suffer. And this is the movie <laughs> for that. Um uh, and I think it's, you know, I know we're playing as a duo today, but I think it's very fair because like, you know, the main characters in the movie, we are also commonly confused as incestuous step siblings. So um, <laughs> we'll just see which one of us lives the longest, you know, it'll yeah. be fun. Okay. All right. Uh, very excited to have you here to play. Akiva, who else is here? I think we have three more left. Again, they're keep, <laughs> they keep moving around the zoo. <laughs> Please. Why didn't welcome. you just go off your list? I don't, I'm not looking at a list. I'm trying to okay. live in the moment, you know? Okay. Uh, 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 one of our favorite guests, she's, she's crushed on games before, uh, post-show recap staple, uh, fan favorite. Please welcome Latanya Starks. Hey, everybody. Latanya, how are you? I'm good. I'm excited to be here. I saw this movie in the theater. My grandmother took me, so completely. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, fine family fun, and mm-hmm. as far as I'm concerned. I'm very what, what, what was grandma's take on this movie? She fell asleep okay. immediately. That, for the best. So, for the yeah. best. Yeah. For the best. Everyone involved. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm excited. Let's do All it. Right. All right. Good luck today, Latanya. Uh, Kiva, mm-hmm. who else is here? Two more. We have um, one of our faves, uh, a long time Renap staple, one time future owner of a Renap Five Timers Club hat. Please welcome Dr. Amanda Rabinowitz. Hello. Welcome. Uh, Thank you so much for having me, Akiva. It's a pleasure to be a part of this esteemed panel on such a well-produced podcast as Mm -hmm. this. Um, I saw this film in 1999. I hated it then. I hated (laughs) it even more now. Mm -hmm. Um, But I I think we're going to have a a good time today. And as far as I'm concerned, um, Chappelle and Puya are starting ahead, having not seen the film at all. So they Mm -hmm. might be the real winners of this competition today. Okay. All right. Um, yes. Pleasure to have you back here, Dr. Amanda. And keep one more person to round out the panel. Uh, yes. Uh, tenth on my Zoom list, but first in your hearts, perhaps. Uh, the 2015 Jeopardy Tournament of Champions champion. That doesn't sound right. Uh, please welcome Alex Jacob. Alex, how are you? Hello, doing good. Thanks for having me. Yeah, there's no real uh, great way to say that, Akiva. That's okay. Tournament of and- Champions winner. <laughs> yeah, that's what I usually say. Um, everyone's coming for Cruel Intentions here. I- I'm here to say this is a great film. It does hold up. Now, Akiva, as as you said, 1999 was a different time. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to defend uh, definitely some of, you know, there's some homophobia in there. There's a scene where it could be described. Spoiler as- alert. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> could be described as, as, as somewhat rapey, but we'll, we're going to move past that because this is a great film. Other than that, and, uh, yeah. And everyone on the Zoom knows this, but for the benefit of the listeners, uh, yes, this is a replica of the koala bear shirt that Selma Bear Blair wears in the movie. Oh, uh, so. <laughs> Wait, can, you say, can you stand up for a second? Yeah, I see. Oh, oh okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Wow. Yes. Uh, and then, Alex, uh, what are you uh, working on these days? Oh, thanks for asking, Rob. I, uh, I launched a uh, trivia league uh, called School of Trivia this year. It's, uh, it's going really well. People seem to be having uh, a lot of fun with it. So uh, info with that, about that is at schooloftrivia.com if anyone wants to check that out. Okay. Uh, and of course, it is uh, very fun, I think, to have here a uh, honest-to-goodness trivia ringer 
here to mm-hmm. battle. I don't know which is going to help the, him today, battle. but it, 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 it'll be it'll be interesting to see. So this yep. is a trivia game. Uh, Kiva was kind of cagey with, uh, mm-hmm. you know, I it's just, a Kiva I wasn't trivia. Exactly yeah. Sure exactly. <laughs> what did that be? Yes. <laughs> it's literally trivia about me. You have to like name my family, my uncles and stuff. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. OK. All right. So with that in mind, uh, let's begin our series of games. Uh, there mm-hmm. will be nine rounds of play and uh, each game uh, will have its own unique wrinkles. Uh, as advertised, the first round of the game will be trivia from the film cruel intentions and you will be asked a series of multiple choice questions okay uh in this round at the end we will have our first elimination and the way that will work is that we will have what uh six questions and then Mm -hmm. at the end of six questions uh we will determine one person who is the winner of the round that person will be safe from elimination the person with the lowest total uh, will mm-hmm. be up for elimination in the duel at the end of this round. The person with the highest total will either get to pick the opponent for the person mm-hmm. who has scored the lowest, or they can punt, and the person who is in the elimination already can pick their opponent. Ooh, I love the twist. I love it. Does that does that uh, compute for round number one? You will be asked six questions. The person with the worst is up for elimination and that other, and they will face either the person who <laughs> is selected by the person who has done the best. Well, is, it's a video show now who is immune like from elimination kicked off a of YouTube or they can defer to the person who is already in the elimination. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So with that in mind, uh, we, uh, we have given to our panel. We've asked them all to come in with a B C D uh, multiple choice answers. Uh, and so we will ask you uh, a question, give you the multiple choice answers. And then on the count of three, we'll ask you to show your answers and then Akiva will tally up the points. Okay. Uh, trivia questions from the film, cruel intention. Rob, can I just say one thing for the yes. podcast listeners? This is also a video episode. Uh, it, this, you know, this segment, they're going to be holding stuff up. We can't have 10 people yelling at their answers at once. So you may want to watch the video on, on this one. Yeah, but we will tell you uh, how people answer Oh, yeah, we'll try and, and paint the picture. Yeah, of course. With our mouths. No doubt. And again, uh, that I know that the film has been disparaged a little bit. Uh, mm-hmm. But don't forget, it did win a favorite supporting actress for Reese Witherspoon at the uh, 1999 Blockbuster Entertainment Awards. I think uh, Selma Blair and uh, and SMG won uh, Best Kiss also at the MTV. BMA mm-hmm. is Best Kiss, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so uh, question number one here in uh, the first game here in Dual Intentions, which one of these names is not the name of one of the three main female characters played by Reese Witherspoon, Sarah Michelle Gellar, and Selma Blair in the film, okay? So Mm -hmm. which of these is not the name of one of the three main characters, okay? Please uh, hold your answers until we uh, give you the time to uh, hold them up. Okay. Is it A, Annette, B, Cecile, C, Catherine, or D, Regina? A, Annette, B. Well, hold. I I think, I think they should all like get their answer ready and then we'll tell them to hold them up. So there's no like spoilers or whatever. Okay. Yeah. As as I see like someone holding their answer. Yeah. Okay. Well, don't do that. Okay. Just pick out, pick out your answers. And then when we say, hold them up, hold them up. Okay. Uh, The choices are again, A, Annette, B, Cecile, C, Catherine, D, Regina. All right. Uh, let's reveal our answers in three, two, one. Reveal. Okay. Uh, I see a lot of D's, uh, Akiva. Mm-hmm. Looks like D's across the board, much yep. like my report card. Am I right? I thought you were going to go in a different direction with that, but sure. Um, Family podcast. Uh, <laughs> yes. So everyone gets that right. Someone may have held up their answer a little early, probably helped people didn't watch the movie, but that's okay. Five more. All questions. right. Everybody's I don't on the board. know. We don't really have plans for a. Uh, like an eight-way tiebreaker. So mm. if we do have that, we, you know, might have to like spin a, a wheel of randomness or something. We'll figure it out. Okay. All right. Wheel of randomness standing by. All right. Uh, question number two. Where is Reese Witherspoon's character from? Is it A, Alabama, B, Kansas, C, Kentucky, D, Nebraska? Where is Reese Witherspoon's character from? A, Alabama, B, Kansas, C, Kentucky, D, 
Nebraska. By the way, fun fact, these the answers are all in alphabetical okay, order, so people can... Uh, Okay, we didn't go with a Jordan Kalish uh, no, f- I just, just joke I answer. Can, I, okay. can you repeat the options the, again? Yeah, options. Yes. Sure, sure, sure. yes. Where is Reese Witherspoon's character from? Is it A, Alabama, B, Kansas, C, Kentucky, D, Nebraska? All right, let's see our answers in three, two, one, reveal. Okay, all right. No, uh, you're not, is Chappelle not holding up the answer? Chappelle, you need an answer. Okay, all right. Uh, we see, I see all... All uh, Bs, uh, with the exception of, uh, looks like Latanya, Amanda, and Kevin and Nigel are saying D, Akiva. Latanya, Amanda, Kevin, and Nigel saying D. No, yeah. this is a B. Oh, oh it's a B. Sorry, it's sorry, a B. I'm sorry. It's, cut off. Think, Kevin it's, and just, cut it's off. just me saying <laughs> okay. D. Okay. You have two Ds in the B, to be fair. Well, um, So did anybody get it wrong? Did okay. I, I mean, did I get, I got it wrong. Okay. I have, I'm the only one with a different answer. Just Dr. Amanda. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. Fine. Okay. Uh, everybody else is correct. The answer is B, Kansas. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, all right, let's go to question number three, Akiva. Mm-hmm. All right. Sarah Michelle Geller character refers to herself as the blank of the Upper East Side. Is it A, Farah Effing Fawcett? B, Kelly Effing Kapowski? C, Marsha effing Brady or D Tanya effing Harding. Sarah Michelle Geller refers to herself as the blank of the Upper East Side. Mm-hmm. A Farah effing Fawcett. B Kelly effing Kapowski. C Marsha effing Brady. D Tanya effing. What would you Harding. say you are the blank of North Carolina, Rob? Um. Hmm. Um. Probably See, need, you can't yeah. be the Michael Jordan because he's from North Carolina. Yeah, I mean that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> All right, let's see our answers in uh three, two, one, reveal. Okay. All right, it looks like uh we see uh lots of C's, Akiva. Mm-hmm. Ten C's Everyone's across the board. Maybe these questions were too easy. Marsha Effing it. Brady. That's like the most wow. iconic line in the whole movie, Akiva. All right. I, I think the I think the fake choices weren't good enough there. Okay. Um, question number four. What language does Sarah Michelle Geller's character reveal she speaks? What language does SMG's character reveal she speaks? Is it A, Latin, B, Japanese, C, Portuguese, or D, Vietnamese? A, Latin, B, Japanese, C, Portuguese, D, Vietnamese. All right, let's see the answers from our panel in three, two, one. And all right, so I see a lot of D's, but uh, it looks like that we have from uh, Chappelle and Aisha an A. Mm -hmm. The answer is D. So everybody else advances. Uh, So what is it? Four, Four points for everybody except for Amanda, Aisha, and Chappelle? Correct. Okay. All right. Two more questions to go here in uh, round one of Dual Intentions. What game does Sebastian play with the lady at the nursing home? (laughs) What game does Sebastian play with the lady at the nursing home? Is it A, backgammon, B, checkers, C, chess, or D, hearts? So we have seven people tied with four. And we have Amanda, Aisha, Chappelle with three. Looking for the game Sebastian plays with the lady at the nursing home. Is it A, backgammon, B, checkers, C, chess, or D, hearts? And uh, the answers will be revealed in three, two, one. Looks like straight A's. Uh, backgammon, everybody gets the point. Wow. Although I don't think he actually plays it. Does he? I think he just says he does. He plays. lies about oh, it. Oh, this should oh, the answer have been lie. none of the above. It was a oh, trick. Yeah. None of the, I was waiting. Good question. Yeah. He won three times. Stop it. I was, I was waiting for none of the above. Trick question. Okay. Uh, all right. So this is the final question here for uh, the uh, first part of game number one. Mm-hmm. Ryan Felipe's character says email is for blank and pedophiles. <laughs> 
I told you this movie was wild, Rob. Email is for blank and pedophiles. Mm -hmm. Is it A, dorks, B, geeks, C, losers, and D, nerds? Email is for blank and pedophiles. A, dorks, B, geeks, C, losers, or Akiva's least favorite, D, nerds. Let's reveal in three, two, one, and all right. So, uh, oh, some split answers. I see uh, some B's and some C's, Akiva. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. Well, then who got? Let's count up. Who got the B's? I see Puya with a B. I see Matt, Scott, Nigel, and Kevin Chappelle with B's. Mm-hmm. So five and five. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, and so the answer is B. Or I have a B also. Just for the yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. you're the fifth. Sorry. Okay. So B geeks. Okay, Akiva. So, yeah. what does that mean? All right. So let's just re uh, read through the five people got it right. Alex, Puya, Nigel, and Kevin. Who are the other two people who who said uh, who said B correctly? Chappelle. Chappelle and who's the fifth Me. one? Matt Scott. Yep. Matt Scott. Okay. All righty. So here is the uh, the situation. Yeah. Yeah. May have slow rolled us. He got all six. Nigel mm -hmm. and Kevin. They love the movie. They got all six. Uh, Alex, six. Matt, six. We got Nicole, Chappelle, Latanya at five. They're safe. Mm -hmm. uh, and Kelly at five. Uh, so we have Aisha and Amanda at four. Do we do a tiebreaker? Do we throw them both into the elimination together? What do I we think do? that in the interests of time, we have nine games to get to. I think mm -hmm. that we should just send uh, Amanda and Aisha to the to. elimination Especially round. Especially since I, I don't have a set. I have a, I have a, if they both get this right, we have a tiebreaker queue, like closest to the mm -hmm. pin, but I don't have one further. Okay. Regular. All right. Congratulations to everyone else. You will advance to uh, game number two here mm -hmm. today. But Can I say, a, Rob? Yes. I'm going to be very sad with losing either of these. Of course. Of course. Very it's sad. an all-star panel. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's go yeah. to the elimination round, which is more multiple choice questions about cruel intentions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. my strong suit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it's just one. It's one and then a tiebreaker. All right. Dr. Amanda, I cannot believe this is happening to us. I We've know. We've seen this movie more than once. We were there when it originally happened. We watched it again today. I do not understand how this has occurred. Yeah. By the way, a yeah. little behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. I don't know if she was playing uh, with people's heads, but right before we started the podcast, Rob, TikTok Nicole requoted the line, but she wrong. said she quoted she said it, it wrong. wrong. <laughs> if she had said it right, I would have scrapped the question, Rob, but she said it wrong. Oh. She said losers and pedophiles. That's and what I was gaslighting. Is that what happened? Yeah, that's what yeah. I was going off of what Nicole said. I was that's like, oh, I got she just wrong. said it. Yeah. Um, I feel like um, probably uh, you wouldn't think that uh, people that are doing with cruel intentions would be oh, should oh. be using email. You would think uh, Probably a big paper trail. No. Yeah, they didn't know. It was ninety nine. It was a simpler know. time. They, they didn't know. Know. AOL. It was a simpler would, uh, time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, a lot of losers still use email though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hopefully not too many of the other ones. All right. That's why Chappelle doesn't even check his email. It's like That's all true. all losers cool. on here. Yeah. Cool okay. All right. So mm -hmm. the elimination question is: Please, no help from the rest of the panelists. Okay. Uh, the question here for you to determine our first elimination. What kind of car does Sebastian drive? Okay, did you keep an eye on what car Sebastian was driving? Is it A, a Ferrari? B, a Jaguar? C, a Lamborghini, a Lambo? Or D, a Maserati? A, Ferrari, B, Jaguar, C, Lambo, D, Maserati. All right. I'm gonna need you to lock in your answers and reveal in three, two, one. And I see they both. two C's. Uh and they both got it wrong. You're both wrong. <laughs> I thought they'd both I, nail it. I thought that's I am I am famously <laughs> car blind. I don't yeah. even know what car my blind. car is. I, uh -huh. I keep his face blind. I know nothing about cars. I refuse to pay I any attention to them. Cars, but... 
I thought mm-hmm. it was like going to be a Rolls Royce or something. I was waiting for you to say that. Well, I don't know. Yeah. I thought it was like a 5466 Jaguar with letters. Well, well all right. What do that, we do? Are we hold both, that are thought? We no, hold that thought. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Because Akiva has a tiebreaker question for yes. you. Okay. All right. And this question will require you to uh, go back to your pen and your paper because this is going to be a number question. All right. And so, um, Akiva, we're going to ask a yeah. number question. Are we trying to uh, not go over? What are the rules for uh, the no, number? No, just closest to the pin. We'll do closest to the pin. Closest then. to the pin. All right. The tiebreaker question for round one of Dual Intentions is, what year is the make of Sebastian's car? When you watched Cruel Intentions, did you pay attention to what year <laughs> Sebastian's car was? It says at the beginning of the movie. Okay. You know, if this is a year? tie, do we spin a wheel? What? We, I don't have another tiebreaker question, Rob. What do we do? Do we just do we spin a wheel? But then we this? both lose. All right. <laughs> We're gonna put them on the wheel. We're ready to spin Ooh. a wheel here, if necessary. That would be a yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, get our answers. We just one at a time, I think. Uh, that uh, mm-hmm. no funny business. Okay, Amanda, keep your hands where we can see them. All right, uh, Aisha, what year did you say? That year is 1966. Okay. Mm. Amanda, what year did you say? This is a very racy film. So I chose 1969. 1969. Oh, no. Okay. Well, <laughs> the year was 1956. And that makes Aisha, Aisha closer closest. to the pin. Oh, well, man. I'll just say, I'll just say, <laughs> if I'm, I think, you know, if you're going to end up losing this game, then uh-huh. really have the rest of your afternoon off. Mm-hmm. I think that's the way to go. You want to hang out? I thought I couldn't hate this movie more, but now <laughs> I do. Now yeah. I do. <laughs> if you're going to go out on anything, it's like, uh, you know, I, I refuse to pay attention to that piece of drivel. Yeah. The bad news is the game gets much more fun after this. The good Aww. news is you have your, uh, you have your whole weekend. <laughs> All right. Hang out. You can hang out. out. I'll hang out. I'll hang out. All right. Then iconic first boot, Rob. Iconic first boot. Okay. So, uh, Dr. Amanda, you are eliminated from contention of dual intentions. All right. For everybody else, move on to game number two, the round of nine. Uh, It's a Renap classic, a little game known as win, lose, or bra. In this game, you will be presented with a brazier <laughs> you will tell us the price of this undergarment the person who is closest will be the winner of the round uh the person who's the furthest away will go into the elimination okay all right so uh here's what i will do Rob, you're going to describe no I, I think you're going to describe well it, right? i well I, I we have to we show it to the uh, to the 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 people but you have on to make the sure panel the, um you have to make sure the price isn't akiva sure. this is uh yeah not my first uh rodeo raw rodeo i know yes I know. okay i just i sent you the link but i didn't i didn't uh cut out the, the picture okay all right so uh yeah usually in the past hannah has done a uh powerpoint presentation mm-hmm. uh, yeah this to... time thank you very much to hannah shapiro it's not weird at all. You know, haven't contacted someone in a while. Hey, Hannah, can you send me uh, a bra? And she was more than happy to oblige. I appreciate mm-hmm. it. Okay, so maybe if I can just uh, share my screen, I can uh, then just uh, do it that way. Okay. Can you make sure the, the price isn't showing? I will. Way? I am doing uh, my best. Okay? okay. All right. Yes. So oh, are we all ultimately? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, show the panel uh, this, which uh, is called on the website a lacquered, chromed, acrylic, anatomical bra. Yeah. And, okay. Uh, Hannah, Hannah says you should mention that it is the company is Tom Ford. Okay, from Tom Ford. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is the lacquered, chromed, acrylic anatomical bra you sharing right, your and, screen yes I, I will i will share i will now share the screen okay all right uh so uh here is uh what that looks like for the panel okay are you able to are you able to see this everyone yes thumbs yep. up okay mm-hmm. all right can the, you describe it for the people at home because sure. uh, everyone loves Roz bras bra descriptions 
So, um, yeah, this is a, a, a bit of a challenge uh, here to des describe this uh, because uh, there's the word uh, chromed acrylic uh, anatomical. Um, so that, that is a lot of words. Uh, it looks like that this is kind of like a hard shell uh, that one would wear, almost as if someone you had taken like a bronzed statue of a woman and then just sort of like cut out a uh, bra from that. Um, and um, uh, acrylic open back bra with adjustable satin straps crafted in lacquered chromed acrylic and fully lined in leather from the wizards over at Tom Ford. Yeah, The color is tawny, if you were wondering. I don't know tawny. what that is. Tawny. Yes, uh, I would say um, the color, I would say, is uh, looks bronze to me. Yeah, it's pretty bronze. I guess tawny might be might mean bronze. I don't know. Mm hmm. OK. All right. So we're going to need everybody to go ahead and write down their quote here. Can I stop sharing the screen so we can see the full panel? Mm hmm. OK, everybody's got a and picture. We should also add, I guess we should add now, the person who is furthest from the correct price goes right into the elimination. Mm -hmm. And same rules, right? The, the winner can either pick or yes. they or can allow the loser to pick their opponent. OK, all right. So we're going to need to see the price of this brazier. OK, in three, two, one. All right, everybody hold up your prices. OK, let's let's go. All right, so just hold them up. Uh, Chappelle, we need the price from you. I think we're good. OK, all right. Here we go. All right. So let's just read them across. Uh, so Matt Scott, you are you. Matt Scott says, uh, is that one hundred eighty nine dollars and ninety nine cents? That's right. OK, mm -hmm. Aisha says six hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, Kevin and Nigel, back to 1969, mm -hmm. one thousand nine hundred sixty nine dollars. Um, Latanya, what what number is that? Okay. Uh, Sorry, that's... it's twelve hundred. Twelve hundred dollars. Okay. Uh, TikTok Nicole says five hundred fifty nine dollars. <phone rings> Kelly White says uh twelve hundred U S dollars. Puya says uh eleven thousand sixty nine dollars. <phone rings> Chappelle says uh ten thousand dollars, and then uh Alex is saying that two eighty or twenty eight hundred. Two uh, two hundred eighty U.S. dollars. Mm -hmm. All right, Akiva. Actual yeah. retail price of the brazier. Yes, fourteen thousand dollars. Yeah, I believe Matt Scott was the ah! lowest. Fish and I believe facts, I've, I've never bought a bra. Well, Psych never. Liar. Mm -hmm. uh, um, <laughs> Matt Scott lowest, and I believe Puya closest to the pin. Okay. All right. So Puya. Uh, it's your decision. Do you have somebody that you would like to send into the elimination against Matt? Or do you want to let Matt choose the person that he will duel? Uh, first of all, a bra vote to myself. Oh, that was wild. Mm -hmm. um, see, I have, I'm one of two minds. Either I give Matt the choice or I say, who was the next lowest? And mm -hmm. that's the fair move. Um, so I think I'm inclined to, I don't want to put any blood on Matt's hands. I'll, I'll mm -hmm. give it to who was the second lowest they can go in. I think, with, Matt, I think Matt seems to be asking for it. Matt, Alex, oh, you is, want it? Matt, you want it? Give, give it to me. Give it to me. He wants it. He says give he it wants to him. a choice. Well, no, I'll go Alex with this. Is very, I'll Alex leave very Matt out of it. I'll leave Matt out of it. Yeah, let's go with the second lowest. So here. I believe that is Alex Jacob. All oh. right. Okay. All right. See, I was under the impression that this was a bra that Hannah Shapiro owned by your description. Oh. Apparently not. No, I mean, not. Listen, you said, I you said I, well, look, we don't. She doesn't. Uh, she may. She I may. Mean, we I don't know what she, she spent her survivor yes, money on. I didn't yes. know this was the most expensive bra be, that you could buy. <laughs> she could be raking it in. I don't. Okay. I don't this know. Was a real. I, yeah. Oh I think gosh. maybe we've we've had more expensive uh, uh, bras described in win loser yeah. bra. Okay. Is this the bra that Zendaya wore with those with like that hot pink? It was just a different color. Are you asking me? And Rob, yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, we don't know, <laughs> yeah, I know. okay, all right. So, this is going to be same yeah. exact idea, same but game. This is heads up now, we don't okay? know if she, if okay. she owns this bra, frankly, it's none of our business, <laughs> okay. All right, uh, this game, this bra is called the Zazzy Zelda Bra in Gold, and this comes to us from our friends over at Empress Mini Mimi, okay. 
Uh, so let's get ready to see about the Zazzy Zelda bra in gold. Here it is. All right. And let me go ahead and share my screen with you all so you can see what we're bidding on here in uh, the elimination round. Okay. All right. Here is the Zazzy Zelda bra in gold. Uh, bring the charm of the 20s to your wardrobe. Uh, and shine in the sexy Zazzy Zelda bra, guaranteed to command attention. Be ready to shimmer and shine in its gleaming gold color. Gold fringes beautifully drape over your bosom, creating an alluring effect that will dazzle your spectator. Only one spectator singular. These playful fringes are set out on a sheer, soft and stretchy mesh that moves across your body whilst also providing ample support. Combine this with the soft, luxurious, adjustable satin straps and gold details, and you have something exceptional. Keep it golden while you sashay the day or night away. Okay? All right. Mm. Do we need uh, other angles of the Zazzy Zelda bra in gold? I, I don't think that'll help, Rob. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So we got Matt Scott. We have Alex Jacob. One of them is going home. Maybe, uh, yeah, nine. maybe the back uh, might be helpful here for the Zazzy Zelda bra in gold. Mm -hmm. Might be. Okay. All right. Let's get our guesses in. Yeah. All right. <laughs> for the Zazzy Zelda. You like saying that? That's yeah. Uh, that's Z A Z Z Y. Zazzy Zelda. We should have had them pay for this kind of plate product placement. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's, uh, okay. Alex and Matt, are you both done writing? Uh, one second. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and see your answers. Okay. Uh, first off, Matt, let's see your answer. Look, I'm just giving you what I think it should be worth. I'm giving you a hundred dollars here. One I'm gonna assume that this is much cheaper. Yes, yes. Saying match. Okay, all mostly right. Mostly threads. So let's let's hope. Alex, mm -hmm. what did you put down as your response? I may have been uh, too influenced by the last choice. We'll see. But uh, I went higher than I went last time. I went uh, for six eighty. Six hundred eighty dollars hmm. actual retail price, eighty dollars. Matt uh, Scott, you will advance, and Alex, very sad to say, um, the Zazzy Zelda bra in gold was your undoing. Did you in yeah. again? Yeah, sorry, sorry, <laughs> bra. Sorry, no. bra. I have I have a very fun idea with Alex. We could talk about it later, but a fun idea with uh, maybe show more of Alex's. Uh, skill set that hopefully it's on the wheel hopefully it'll come up uh soon but uh okay thrilled he agreed to join us today all right alex um sorry that this one uh did not go as well as some of your <laughs> well, other trivia adventures well as uh sarah michelle geller says in the movie i hate it when things don't go my way it makes me so horny <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Thank you for well, having me. Check out, uh, okay. check out schooloftrivia.com. Schooloftrivia.com. Uh, trivia. Yeah, okay. yeah, for sure. Thank you. All right, it, Alex. Thank you. There you go. All right. So, Akiva. Yes. Game. Then they were eight. Akiva, game number three here. Mm -hmm. The round of eight. Uh, what do you have in mind? Okay. Uh, I think, Rob, it's time to play the feud. What? Mm -hmm. How so? We're going to split our eight remaining contestants up into two randomized teams. And they will uh, they will play a uh, one game, one round of Family Feud. OK, OK. The winning team is safe. The losing team gets thrown into bum, 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 a double elimination. OK, two they people. Will, yes. Two people will go home yes, in the double elimination round. All right, in this third round here mm -hmm. of <laughs> Dual Intentions, Akiva, yeah. uh, you are going to uh, produce uh, two teams of four versus four for one round of Family Feud. Okay, uh, how will that work? Uh, I, we're going to randomize it. I'm just going to show tell you the people on my screen, okay? Okay. 
So we have Kelly on one team, Aisha on one team, Latanya and Chappelle. Kelly, Aisha, Latanya, and Chappelle. Calc, K A L C, which means the other team is Matt, Nigel, and Kevin, Nicole, and Puya. Matt, Nigel, and Kevin, Nicole, and Puya. Okay. All now, right. Yeah, we have we have Miss Family Feud herself, Nicole here. Let's see if she's a ringer. Mm -hmm. She's you know run these games before. She's a queen of Family Feud. Yes. It's gonna be really embarrassing if I lose. <laughs> All right. Now, Akiva, just to uh, give some insight into uh, how this all came together, do you want to explain how you got these Family Feud questions? Yes. Yes. Uh, we have the best listeners in the world, Rob. I don't know if you know that, mm -hmm. but th what we did was I posted on the new. Renap Facebook group and then uh, to, to get a little extra muscle uh, on Twitter. And I said, and I've done this before. Give me your email address. I will send you a series of trivia questions. You can answer them. And we had many, many hundreds of people respond. I sent in the trivia questions. I counted the first hundred or randomized them in a, in a, a couple when when maybe things needed extra. And then uh, we counted them that way. So we sent out about 14 questions. Hopefully none of our panels have seen them. I made sure not to send to any of them. And um, they were not posted on social media. They were just emailed to people. And, uh, and that's how we got our, uh, we picked, you know, the six with the best data set. And that's how we're here today. Okay. All right. So um, we will have one participant from each of the two teams uh, step up you to need the to podium. Pick a captain. Yes. So first, Kelly, Ayesha, Latanya, and Chappelle. Can you pick a captain, please? Does anyone want to be the captain? The silence is deafening. I'm not going to lie. All right, lie. Kelly, you're the captain for speaking first. And I'm okay. your best man. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Chappelle. I appreciate okay. that. All right. And then from uh, the second team, we need somebody to go That's into the feud. Nigel, Kevin, Kevin Nicole. Nicole, Matt. Not it. Not yeah. it. Nicole, no, I, I think Nicole, now. it should be. We've already you. nominated I think it's Nicole. Nicole. It should yeah. be Nicole because yeah, she's done this before. 100%. Okay. It's her time. Good answer. Right. Good answer. Good answer. Fearless good answer. leader. Okay. All right. Um. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's let's get to our family feud question. Mm -hmm. All right, Kelly versus Nicole. I think Rob, I think if for the for the uh, toss up, I think they should say their name when they right. Yes, like, yes. All right, so I will read the question. Akiva, you are uh, the judge. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, yeah. When you want to buzz in, yell out your name. Okay. All right, uh, 100 Renap listeners surveyed, and we have the top one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six, we'll just do six. We're just gonna do the top six there, sorry. Okay, all right, top six answers on the board. Here's the question. Name a common phobia people have. Nicole. Okay. Nicole, what is it? Clowns. <laughs> All right. Let's see if it's there. Uh, show us clowns. Number six answer. Are you Three people responded. I, I was not sent the survey. All right. Kelly, five answers. We'll beat it. Uh, I'm going to say heights. Okay. Uh, show me heights. Number one answer. All right. So wow. the team calc. Uh, they control the board, and I'm assuming you will want to play. Yeah, we're going to play. All right. So, Team 2, get ready for a steal. Okay. we got to get a better name for Team 2, but yeah. All right, Team 2, come up with a... Let us know when you have a better name. All right. <laughs> team Clowns. Okay. All right. Aisha comes to you. All right? You will have uh, get the chance to give us answers until you get three strikes. All right, Aisha... Name something a common phobia people have. Spiders. Spiders. Okay. Let's see if it's there. Show me a spider. Please don't, actually. Number two answer. All right. So the number one and number two answers are off the board. Uh, this is where it gets harder. The third, fourth, and fifth most commonly submitted answers are still there. All right. Latanya, name a common phobia people have. Germophobia, germs. Okay, lots of germs out there. Maybe more than ever before. Let's see if it's up there. Show me germs. 
No, sorry. Strike one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The Renap audience apparently not not uh, German phobia, or or if they are, that they are yeah. not thinking of it as a common phobia. It's not necessarily their phobia. Everyone who's listening, go wash your hands. You disgusting animals. Okay. <laughs> Kelly. All right, Chappelle. Uh, fear of snakes. Snakes. All yes. right. Let's see if it's up there. I've had it with these mother effing snakes. Number three answer. Hey. Two answers are left. Only one strike. Kelly White, you got it all started. Back to you. This is so stressful. I'm going to say public speaking. Okay. Let's see if it's there. Show me public speaking. <clears throat> no. No. I guess there's a lot of podcasters in the uh, Renap audience. Mm -hmm. Doesn't bother them. Okay. All right. Two answers are left. One strike, though, to go. Team two, get ready to steal. Okay. All right. We go back to Aisha. I'm ready. Okay. I know this is going to be up there. My answer is the dark. Okay. Show me the dark. <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> Two answers are left. It's because people are sleeping with the podcast on. They sleep with the pod. That's that's right. That's right. <laughs> that's right. We made them. We've made too many people not afraid of the dark. Now, all right. Two answers are left. All right. Team two. All right. It's Matt, Kevin, and Nigel. Uh, it is Nicole, and it is Puya. All I think right. they're team middle of the all alphabet. Right. Team that's middle. What I've come team up with. Middle of they're the middle of the alphabet. Yeah. But we're not mid. Don't worry. Okay. Mm. That's right. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, we need a steal. If it's there, you four will be immune and avoid the elimination. If not, two of you will be eliminated in this round. Are we allowed to like yeah, talk? We can deliberate? Yes, right? deliberate. This is family feud. Okay. Team answer. So yes. it has to be claustrophobia, right? Are we That's what we that? think too. It has to be um, that one. So I, my two were sharks and um, hmm. flying. I, I think water I as think well that could be one like an ocean. I feel like sharks. I don't know. So many people got on the plane to go to New York for RJP Live. I feel like flying. We. I, I feel like we, are, we have fearless listeners. But it feels like sharks could be like the seventh one they took out. You know what I mean? Like, that's my worries. Like, how many Do people feel... thought of sharks first? I mean, I feel like this. the word, the question has the word phobia in it. So that's why I think claustrophobia makes the most sense. That said, could people spell it? correctly or maybe they would choose a different rob one. can i can i um uh -oh. can, i think we should have said this can i um please the, the question was phrased as follows name a common phobia people have but i asked them to list the thing they were afraid of not the phobia because uh for sorting it would have made it would have made more sense meaning i would have had to sort two different versions you know the thing and the phobia so that's that's matt uh, what do you think matt all right i have a different one D dying dark uh dying dying Dying. I mean, dying is my dying biggest fear. I think I mean, sharks is not a bad idea either. If it was just your fears, I mean, that's like a versus a phobia. So I'm down. I'm going with the captain. Whatever the captain says, I'm down with that. What's your gut, Nicole? I felt good about sharks, so I think I'm gonna choose sharks. Okay. All right. The captain, Rob. Can I just say yes? Oh yes. The, I think like if the listeners knew the board here, which I would be hard. I, I almost like want to like have a voice come so in we and didn't tell the board. Well, it well, would have been it would have been like the most iconic like minute in in radio in podcasting history just now. I think the Family Feud is a pretty good format. Okay, all right. Tell? Let's see if it, let's see if it's there. Show us sharks. <clears throat> no, That's I'm sorry, name. Team Middle of the Alphabet. You're going into the elimination. Uh, let's. Let's see what else was up there. Mm -hmm. uh, number five, death. Uh, uh, number oh. four, claustrophobia. Spaces, <laughs> uh, I guess, AKA claustrophobia. Okay. I'm writing Nicole my a, own a, eulogy as we a speak. A plant from the other team. That was All right. Good. Team Nicole. Woo. All right. So what this all means is that the four people from uh, the winning team, that's Kelly, Aisha, Latanya, Chappelle, you are safe. We will see you in Final round six. number four. However, however, the four of you 
who lost this round of the game. You are all up for elimination right now. And two of you will be eliminated in Akiva's Fast Money. You will pair off in teams of two and work as a team to play Fast Money. The team with the lowest score answering the same Fast Money questions Mm -hmm. will be eliminated, both of you. So the way this will work is that you will pair off and then two of you uh, will leave the Zoom call and then we will tell you when to come back on. All right. Rob, can I tell you the teams? Oh, okay. That, 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 uh, you don't want oh, them, you to, want pick them to pick? I randomized, but I won't say if, they, if you want them You're to pick. You're just throwing me to the just... wolves right now. <laughs> yeah. Does it, I mean, does it, I thought it'd be fun if they picked them, but yeah, it's, any... it's giving squid game. Yeah. Okay, fine. Pick your teams. Mm-hmm. Here. Anyone mm-hmm. want to admit they have a crush on me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, I do, but uh... <laughs> no, they're running from me. No. Oh no, I'm in my Cecile era. All right, if you don't pick in ten seconds, I'm picking for you. Everyone, people are too nice. No, can, can we pair with you? Yeah, we yeah. got oh, that. Was the randomized that was a lot anyway? Of experience here. That was okay. the okay. Anyway. Let's do and this. Nicole, yeah. you owe right, Nigel and Kevin because okay, Nigel and Kevin, okay. Nigel right, and Kevin went this. straight to the right. exact right answer. So Puya and Puya and Matt, can you uh, leave the call and then uh, we will DM you when it is safe to not just turn your camera off. Please leave yeah, leave the us. call. Get out of here. Into the soundproof booth. Okay. All right. So we'll give uh, give you your questions, uh, okay? Uh, and then actually, uh, what will we do, Akiva? That we're gonna do uh, that both both given. Oh, I'm sorry. The, the way this was gonna work, I forgot. Uh, back and forth, okay? So yes. Kevin and uh, so uh, the one other pick, one uh, last lead. decision. One of you will get uh, three questions. The other the other partner will get uh, two questions. I think you guys should take the three questions. Okay. All right. So uh, Kevin and Nigel, uh, you will get uh, question one, three, and five. And then, Nicole, you will answer questions two and four. Okay. Got it. All That's right. Uh, let's go ahead and start. Akiva, are you keeping time? Um, sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're not going to be like uh, su- uh, su- super sticklers on the time. Just yeah. like uh, let's, give me let's like keep it moving. Seconds. Okay. Yeah. 60 seconds is a lot of time. Okay. All right. All right. For Kevin and Nigel. Okay, uh, again, first answer that comes to mind. Name a common first name that starts with J. Sean. Name a common age, Nicole, for people to get married. 30. Name an airline that people, even good flyers like Akiva, like to complain about. Spirit. Nicole, name a city in Europe, any city. London. Kevin and Nigel, name a classic rock band other than the Beatles. ACDC. Okay. All right. Turn around. Let's go ahead and let's let's see how you did. All right. Good mm-hmm. answers. Good answers. All right. Great um, job. Yes. Akiva, uh, should we should we uh, give them them their their answers or should we bring in Puya? And... I think let's wait. I think let's wait and we'll okay. go one by we'll go one okay. one 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 one. All right. Uh, name a common first name that starts with the letter J. Uh, Wait, I thought we were waiting for Puya and then we'll and then we'll um, should we just tell should we tell them both afterwards or no? Uh, I thought wait, I, I thought you you were saying wait to bring Puya and Matt. Oh, back. sorry. I was saying the other thing. But you know what? This makes sense. This will okay. set up like a baseline. Okay. All right. Uh, you said John. Our survey said 18 people said John. Number one answer. This, this was a very uh, divided question. Okay. Remember, you don't need to get to 200. So it doesn't just, really you matter. just have to beat. Puya yeah. and Matt. Okay. Name a common age for people to get married. Nicole, you said 30. Our survey said how many, Akiva? 26. Number one. 26. Oh, thank God. Redemption. Okay. All right. Kevin and Nigel, name an airline that people, even good flyers like Akiva, like to complain about. You said Spirit. Our survey said. Big answer. Number one. Yes. Three now, for three. With uh, now, again, I, I will add that yeah. uh, Matt and Puya can give the same answers as you. Of course. That is, yes, not, that yes. is not eliminated yes. for them. Okay. It's concerned a spirit wouldn't count as a good airline. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, it was, it was any airline. It was a good flyer, he said. In the uh, okay. All right. Uh, name a city in Europe, any city. Nicole, you said London. Our survey said 
17. Number two answer. Okay. All right. And name a rock band other classic rock band other than the Beatles. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, Kevin and Nigel, you said ACDC. Our survey said just three. Three. It's okay, it's okay. Sorry, Nicole. Okay. Oh, well, let's, find Overall, let's find out. Overall, very good. If you're on a highway to hell <laughs> or not. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead. Uh, can we bring you, bring back Puya and Matt mm-hmm. to face off? High stakes here. Two people will be eliminated at the end of Family Feud. We'll be down to just the, tension. just the final six mm-hmm. here. In dual intentions. Are you are you messaging them? Am I, messaging I am them? not. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. So you were. Pro- I thought you were producing. I am. I am. I am. Okay. Back in. How you doing, Chappelle? Good. You call me. Yes. How how's everything going? Are you enjoying the the the, the dual intentions? I'm just chilling. Just chilling. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Am I supposed to be saying something? I wasn't no. paying attention. No. Just, uh, you know, trying to uh, make some conversation while Akiva's messaging. Yeah, okay. yeah. I, had to, um, I wasn't paying attention because I'm, like, trying to prep for whatever happens when I get eliminated in the next round. I got, got some it. to make. Got it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So here comes Puya and Matt ready to play Fast Money. Now, uh, there will be one decision that you need to make here in Fast Money. Uh, Puya, you or Matt will have to answer three questions while your partner answers two. You'll go back and forth trading off questions. And we can't discuss with each other? We just no, have to go, right? No, back and forth. Go back and forth. So wow. just we just need to, uh, you two to decide who will get uh, questions one, three, and five, and who will get questions two and four. Um, Listen, I'm all about you. mumbo number five, Matt. You good if I take it? Yeah, one, go three, for five. it. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. All right. For Puya, question number one. Name a common first name that starts with the letter J. Uh, Jessica. Okay, Matt, uh, name a common age for people to get married. 25. Okay, Puya, name an airline that even people, uh, good flyers like Akiva, like to complain about. Spirit. Okay, uh, Matt, name a city in Europe, any city. Paris. Okay, and then Puya, name a classic rock band other than the Beatles. Oh, God. Uh... Rolling Stones. Okay, turn around. Let's see. Oh, wait. okay. All right. So we will uh, now go through and see. Uh, we'll tell you uh, how Nicole and Kevin and Nigel answered mm-hmm. the Should same question. Can I tell you how many points Nicole and Kevin and Nigel had? Sure. Rob, 110. Sure. They had 110. 110 points is the Three number, number you're one trying answers to be. Okay. All right. Oh. Uh, so, first question uh, Name. A common first name uh, that starts with the letter J. Uh, Puya, you said Jessica. Is that correct? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he okay. said Jessica. Okay. Uh, our survey said six. Six people said what? Jessica. 12, 12. John was the number one answer, said by they, 18 they said people. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Name a common age to get married. Okay. Matt, you said. 25. Mm-hmm. Our survey said it was uh, 16. I'm sorry. So 16 people said uh, 25. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Ma- uh, uh, it was Nigel, the number three Kev- answer. Nigel, Kevin, Nicole, I have the number one on answer. They are also 30. 26 people. Okay. Said. Name an airline that people, even good flyers like Akiba, like to complain about. Puya, you said Spirit. Our survey said Number one answer, 46 people said it, also said by Kevin and Nigel. Okay. Hey. Uh Uh-oh. That was a big one. Needed to keep pace with that one. Okay. All right. Name a city in Europe. Matt, you said Paris. Our survey said 32. That is the number one Mm. answer. Yes. Okay, Matt. All right, so Rob. Rob, can I can I can I set up the stakes? Oh, no. Please, the please do. Oh, no. Yes. Um, Matt and Puya need ten to tie, eleven to win here. Okay. All right. 
Name a classic <gasps> rock band other than the Beatles. Puya, you said the Rolling Stones. <laughs> Did uh did eleven I people say it for <laughs> Puya and Matt to advance? If not, they are eliminated. The answer there is forty. Forty people. Number one answer. Yes, the number one answer. <laughs> what a comeback! Was the was Stones crazy. over ACDC? Uh, Kevin and Nigel, Close. TikTok Nicole. Uh, this was uh, a thrilling round of fast money. That was funny. That was that was fun. <sighs> they got three number one answers that got eliminated. That was wild. Mm -hmm. Wow. You did well. Well, we make lovely fifth, sixth, and seventh alternates, so I think mm -hmm. that's great. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, that was intense. That was sweating. yes. Will Will the Rolling Stones uh, haunt you tonight? Who? I think sharks should haunt her, Rob. She everyone else had the right answer. She, she sent them to sharks. Sometimes you need to be humbled. And this mm -hmm. is my day. Mm -hmm. OK, tough, tough break for Nigel and Kevin, who immediately went to claustrophobia and got talked out. But they uh, what yeah. do you get for finishing fifth and sixth? A lot of uh, Akiva bringing the salt acclaims. to the wound. No, yes. no, they did great. No, I'm teasing. I'm they deserve that. That, 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 was, that was that was really that was great. That was so good. <laughs> that was emotional. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, TikTok Nicole. Sorry to see you go out here on the feud. Mm. Happens to the best of us. Clearly, happens to the worst of us as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, Kevin and Nigel. Also, uh, sad to see you two eliminated here uh, in Great in the appearance. in the round of the feud. Yeah, you know it's nice to be here. I think we'll make like Candace and John Cody and enjoy each other in the loser lodge and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're so glad to, to to lose to such worthy competitors, and you know, in times of trouble, just like the main characters in Cruel Intentions, we will turn to Jesus. So, okay. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Right. And Adam Gentry also. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, so we are down to only six people left. Final six. Okay. Uh, the final six. It's uh, Chappelle, Puya, Matt. Uh, it is Latanya, Kelly, and Aisha. All right. So. Here we go. Uh, this is uh, uh, game number four. Mm -hmm. Akiva calls it the boring food bee. Yes. Akiva, can you explain yeah. how a boring food bee works? Yeah, we. this was a family feud question we turned into a whole game because we had such a wide array of answers. We asked listeners the following question, okay? Uh, well, let me tell you how it works first, and then we'll, and then we'll, and then we'll get into it. We are we are going to have a spelling bee style game where each of you now that there's six will one at a time give an answer in each round. If you get it right, you advance. If you're out, you're eliminated. The winner of the bee will send uh, can send any two contestants into elimination. Well, they will compete in a in a one off round of the boring foodies. The winner here picks both of the of the uh, the the dual members. OK. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are we are going to uh, get this down to one person here, okay? To yes. pick the two people that will go into the duel in this round, okay? Um, this will be in order of uh, Akiva. Do you want to give us a, a a randomized order? I'll just give it to you what I see on Zoom, which is hold on, which is Chappelle, Matt, uh, Puya, Latanya, Kelly, Aisha. Okay, uh, we will do this as a snake draft. Uh, all you have to do is name mm -hmm. one of the foods mm -hmm. that was answered. There are how many answers, Akiva? There are 37 answers. The question is, other than chicken, name the most boring food you could think of. Okay, uh, this was, don't blur anything out now, okay? Mm -hmm. All you have to do is tell us one answer that was answered to Akiva's answer, okay? And then we will keep going until one person uh, is not eliminated. All right, Chappelle, can you give us, and I know this is a food podcast, we don't like to talk about food, mm -hmm. but I would argue chicken is not even boring. Uh, but right. that was, uh, this feels like a microaggression. I'm kidding. Um, I, so boring, boring food, right? Name a food uh, that the, a listener said was boring. Potatoes. What, potatoes, Akiva? It's on the list. Okay. Was that a big one or just one? Uh, three people said potatoes. Three people said potatoes. Ooh, All right. Shit. <laughs> okay. Matt. Ooh, um, we're going to go with uh, Brussels sprouts. 
Brussels sprouts, Akiva. Uh, had a bad rap in the uh, 90s, but did not make it onto this list. No okay. Problem. All right. Yeah. Sorry, Matt. You will not be with the winner of uh, you will not you. you will not be selecting the people for elimination. Does not necessarily mean you are in the elimination. Okay. All Thank right. You. Puya. Uh, oatmeal. Ding, ding, ding. Three people said oatmeal. Okay. All right. Latanya. I have absolutely no idea. You all have taken my answers. Um, fish. Is fish boring? Fish Akiva? is. I mean, maybe, but fish was not named. Okay. All right. Sorry. <laughs> all right. Latanya. Okay. Uh, stand by. All right. Kelly. I mean, Taryn's favorite plain yogurt. Is yogurt boring, Akiva? Yes. Yogurt on the list. Nine people said it. Probably, okay. Uh, you know, influenced by Taryn, but still. Okay. Aisha. All right. We're going to you, and then it will be you again. So we're going to need two, uh, what, uh, an answer from you, and then a second answer from you. Um, so I spent a lot of time eating boring foods. The first yeah. one I'll say is chicken broth. Uh, chicken broth. So are you saying, is, I mean, are we still calling broth. that soup? What are we calling that? Soup, broth, uh, soup. Yeah. That, what do you think? Broth and yes, soup? Yeah. Yes. Soup is on the uh, list. Actually, yeah. you know, it actually, it makes no sense for this to be a snake draft. We should just go back to uh it, Yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, it's, a, it, yeah, okay. yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. Back so to four Chappelle. people made it to round two. All right. Um, beans. Beans are there. Yes. yes Boring. Two the people. List. Okay. All right. Um. So uh, Matt was out, right? To go back to mm -hmm. Puya? Okay. Yeah, back to Puya. Okay, so I'm going to go with what Kelly did and think of what would the listeners say? And I feel like this past year was the year of Rob talking down on Stu. Let's go with Stu. Is Stu boring? It's a, it's a good guess. A lot of listeners love inside jokes. Did not make it. No, okay. Come on, listeners. Booyah. No. Okay. I like. I didn't like what you said about Stu. Booyah. <laughs> okay. It is what it is. All what right. Is next? Kelly? Kelly White. I'm going to say mayonnaise. Mayo. Oh, mayo. Pour some out for Paloma. Okay. <laughs> um, is mayo boring, Akiva? Eh, nope. I think the bigger question is mayo food. I is think that's the bigger food. Is, may is, is mayo food? That might be another episode. Okay. Uh, it's more of a condiment. Okay. So mm -hmm. it comes down to, all right, it's Chappelle and Aisha. Heads up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Aisha, boring food to stay alive. Hummus? Hummus. Hummus. Interesting answer. Mm. Too fun. Hummus is fun. Hummus okay. too fun. Three. Too fun. Yes. Chappelle is Chappelle, uh, round two. Chappelle. I thought this game would go like six rounds, but uh, I guess it's hard to just guess. I keep you want to give some, some, some of the other. Uh, we can't give the others. It's oh. the, they got it. That's what they, they got to do now. Oh, that's the the, the, the okay. elimination is, is doing all right. The elimination is one. now is now two people heads up. OK. Yeah. All right. They only named a few of the 37. All right. Chappelle, you saw how these two rounds went. We need you to pick two people to go into the duel. Well, um, this is tough. I want to get out. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to go after the, the biggest threats here. And so that means, yeah, don't make that face, Matt. You know, it's you and it's really? my dear friend, Latanya, because one of y'all have to knock out the other. Didn't you just target me in Pride Month, I did. Chappelle? Every month it's Pride Month. It was June. <laughs> it's your ass. Chappelle, what? Why? You gotta take out Matt. You have to take out Matt. No, Someone you don't. Your target my first is Matt. First time here. I'm new. My I'm target new. is Matt. Latanya, you're a pawn. I'm sorry, Matt. <laughs> Brussels sprouts. Okay, Rob you, Rob, you set this up. You're an evil genius. Oh, you're you set it up for. I was like, no one's gonna want to target each other. Let's just do yeah, it right. randomly. Rob's mm -hmm. like, no, knows, let the Matt fireworks go. Matt doesn't respect me, and it shows. Mm -hmm. It does show, and you know what? I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna show you. Matt, show okay, you. Matt. Let's just say if you stay in the game, you could maybe have an opportunity to get back at uh to get back at Chappelle. Same okay, with, I would. All right. Okay. All That's right. We're gonna go one v one until there's a round where one. If has you both answer. if you both match, then uh you go. Yeah. We 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 keep going. Okay. If yeah, you I'm both not. are wrong, Wait. if you if you both are wrong, uh, I mean, we'll go not get it for starting first. What? Not starting first. Wait, no. Okay. I already went. Let's not it. To be fair, not it. Call not it, Matt. That's not it. Okay. We gotta respect. If we I don't mean, respect, not it. What is there, there to respect? Yeah, there there is an advantage to going first. Is more there'll be more answers on there. Yeah, I uh, would want to go first here, honestly. Okay. All right. She did call not it. All right, but Latanya has uh, deferred. Matt, you are up first. Okay. Uh, tell us another food 
The listeners told Akiva was boring. Uh, no help from the chat also. Peas. 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 Are peas boring, Akiva? They are. Three people said peas. Matt's okay. All right. Latanya, to stay this alive in the game, need another boring food. Carrots. Are carrots boring, Akiva? Are carrots? Well, I personally think carrots are boring. No listener, though, said carrots. I'm sorry. Oh, Chappelle, your Chappelle plan backfired. backfired. Oh, what? my God. Tanya. <laughs> oh, okay. my sorry. God. What the hell? Chappelle? All right. Akiva, you, first off, do you want to just give us the list of the boring, the most yeah, boring we'll foods? You, yeah. Uh, white rice, bread, lettuce, uh, pasta, <sighs> broccoli, tofu, celery. Toast, turkey, peanuts. Uh, those are the only ones that add two or more. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. a, lot, a lot of ones, though. Weedy. Honest to God, I'm going to lose it. The <laughs> <laughs> girl should know the pawn always goes home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Tanya, oh we will gosh. give you a chance to get your revenge on Chappelle at some point. Wait, Maybe what? Just... <laughs> a, couple of, a couple of interesting ones. Uh, somebody said uh, mac and cheese is boring. I yeah, that's, that's boring. Yeah. Maybe they're Ooh. messing up their mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And have to, it, I have the, to fast tomorrow. So it I'm, doesn't I'm, help that hungry. I was thinking peas the whole time. And I was, and then oh, you said, Oh, you not it back. Not, not it back. Got you. Oh, Kelly no. White. Kelly White says Latanya should go watch Cruel Intentions 2 as a palate cleanser. No. And three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't I, it's do it. It's not I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. All right. I hope you're proud of yourself, Chappelle. I'm pissed. You were supposed to go home. Why are you here? Hell, <laughs> I'm so mad at you right now that Why I. Why are you? You to put me up. Right, I gave you everything. I gave you the tools. He would have said. He would have said uh, something else. I don't know. You should have said peas. All right. I'm not competitive. That's not yes. the problem. Everything's <laughs> fine, and I'm happy that we got to play this game together. How did you define? Yes, L Latanya. Great job. Great showing. Made it to the top six, but unfortunately, I'm sorry. The boring food B was your undoing today. Mm -hmm. As it has been I don't for so eat many. Boring foods. Mm -hmm. I'm not versed in it. <laughs> Genius. Thank you for having All me. All right. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Latanya. All right. We're down to top five baby. Okay. Uh, it is uh, Chappelle, Matt, Kelly, Aisha, and Puya in the top five. Akiva, uh, mm -hmm. what what game do you have cooked up here in our fifth game? Round yes. number five. Get ready for the lukewarm takeoff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Akiva, can you explain what a lukewarm takeoff is? Yes. We had a hot takeoff a few weeks ago where people gave their hot takes. There have been cold takeoffs where people have to give cold takes. Here we're looking for the most lukewarm take. All right. How will the lukewarm takeoff be determined? Um, each... Each contestant will go in a randomly decided order. We'll give a lukewarm take. Okay. Uh, and then we will poll the listeners very quickly on who has the strongest of those takes and who has the weakest of those takes. Okay. And then there will be no duel in this round, as I understand it. No correct? duel. No duel. The, the, the lowest, the person receiving the fewest votes goes home. Right. So what we do ask is uh, everyone refrain from social media. Uh, please do not campaign yeah. on social media. Akiva, uh, Akiva will post a uh, I'm anonymous post a form, a form, five not takes. A poll. Okay. Yes, I will retweet. Okay. Uh, we will then give, we'll, we'll, we'll take, chill for a minute or yeah, two. We'll take, we'll, we'll take a break and then we will come back and uh, reveal whoever is had the lowest performing lukewarm take that person will be eliminated. Okay. What's the What's the definition? Okay. Bob? Okay. Akiva, Akiva is about to explain that. Take oh, yeah. versus a yes. cold take. Yeah. Yes. Amanda says we can't agree what a hot take is. We can't agree what a cold take is. How are we going to agree what a lukewarm take is? I would say it's a take firmly in the middle. It's not hot. It's not cold. It is lukewarm. How is this different from the March midness bracket that it's you did a couple similar. of weeks ago? It's pretty similar. I think. Uh, I think it's like. You'll know a, a lukewarm take when you find it. It's it's somewhere in the middle. Can't be hot, can't be cold. Okay. Akiva, do you have an order for how the lukewarm takes <laughs> will come out? Um, sure. We will start with uh Chappelle, then we'll go to Matt, we'll go to Puya. Some of the people here are are still in but aren't playing, right? Kelly and then Aisha. 
Okay. Kiva, how are you coming up with this order? I have questions. It's my Zoom order. Yeah. It's the so literal always always first. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Always first. Okay. Yeah, Chappelle, I was going to say, there's a pattern so, here. Sorry, that was uh, Chappelle, Matt, Kelly, and then and then uh, was it uh, Puya or Aisha? Chappelle, third. Matt, Puya, Kelly, Ay- Aisha. Okay. It's, All right. You've explained what a lukewarm take is to us on this call, and I'm still unsure. People with the storm are going to have a wild time with this. So we'll like, see well, I don't out. get the difference between a lukewarm take and a cold take. So well, you, do you know the difference between lukewarm out? water and cold water? I mean, it's like, ah. it's not freezing. <laughs> it's hmm. moderately warm. It's a tepid take. Okay. Okay, so do we just tell y'all? Yes, yes, push? yes, 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 okay. Chappelle, uh, okay. please tell Akiva your lukewarm take. Lukewarm take. Robbie, Tacos we'll are overrated. Tacos okay. are overrated. Remember, you only you need to not have the one with the least votes. Okay. Yeah. I, well, I will refrain from commentary until uh, we put the form mm-hmm. out. Okay. Tacos. Yeah. And it may be an advantage to go uh, to go later here. It may be a big advantage for Kelly and Aisha. Yeah, okay. considering I keep going first. Yeah. <laughs> Stop being first. On yeah, my you Zoom. won the last game. You won. The Although last now game. you're not first anymore. I don't know where you just went, but you're not even no, there. Thank God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everybody's turning their camera off and coming back Maybe. on. Maybe. Okay. Oh, is that All what right. Okay. Matt is okay. next. Matt. I, I, I still honestly don't know. Mm-hmm. Nobody Luke, does, Luke Matt. Is. It's fine. <laughs> but it's I'm fine. the same boat. As long as, as, long as uh, playing. Every uh, food should always be salted. Food should always be salted. Okay. All right. Tooth food take. Right. Now these Puya. do not have to be about food, but so far they yes. Mm-hmm. Mac and cheese is good as a side or a main dish, both. Okay. Mac and cheese is good as a side or a main dish, both. Kelly and White is next. Yeah, this is tough. I've never really had to think of a lukewarm take before. I'll go with the classic. All movies should be 90 minutes. Very mid take these days. Okay. Well, all right. So now you are taking a take that has been used on this podcast before and trying to pander to the listeners, I feel like. It was mm-hmm. mid then and it's mid now. Go kill Yeah, me. work smarter, <laughs> not harder. That's my motto. <laughs> okay. And Aisha, your final submission for the lukewarm takeoff. This is why I don't submit these. I don't know what they are. Um, sandals are better than flip-flops. Sandals oh. are better than flip-flops. Okay. Okay. Rob, you talk to them for a minute while I tweet this out. Yeah, I guess just let's uh, talk through uh, the takes real quick. I do think that probably just like pandering, uh, like uh, just going with a, you know, Taylor should win Big Brother. Uh, I thought about name dropping one be, of you could have been the yeah, move. Probably, mm-hmm. like, I think people yeah. are just, like, uh, cl- like people will be confused, and I think right. you go with uh, what they agree with. <laughs> well, it works Especially Rob's takes were the, very similar. So. Yeah. Uh, but now, Chappelle, uh, tacos are overrated. I feel like that, that might be a, a spicy take. Mm-hmm. No, I feel like everybody thinks, uh, like, I feel like, like, tacos got, like, this big resurgence, and now, like, it's kind of like, oh, we get it. You like tacos. You like tacos? You like bacon? Like, that's kind of, like, it's old news. You put that in your, you don't put that in like a dating profile anymore, but back in the day, it used to be a thing. Back I'm in hoping, the day. I'm hoping yeah. people are keeping up with the Joneses. Yeah. Okay. Um, Matt, you said uh, food should be salted. Are there a lot of people that's trying to uh, go with, uh, let maybe some people watching out for their sodium? Rob, I want to be clear about one thing. I have yes. n- still have no clue what <laughs> a lukewarm take is. <laughs> yeah. But I, I think that that might be it. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, then, Puya, uh, where did you come in on the lukewarm takeoff? Well, my idea was let me pick something that a lot of people could see as a star or as a middle, and then remember throw you, some cheese on it, and then anyone. Oh, that's mac lactose, and cheese is a, mac yeah. and cheese is good as a side dish or a main or main because anyone that's lactose will be like, no, I'm not, I'm not having this. Or mm-hmm. there's gonna be people that might think. No, unless it's this mac and cheese. This mac, the yeah. box mac and cheese doesn't count. So I figured it's enough of a conversation starter that it should get a couple of votes. It was my was my thought. I couldn't it. do mac and cheese as a main. Oh, I could, and it'd be delicious. It wouldn't. I mean, be you never like delicious, but it'd be great. Mm-hmm. My kids sometimes have mac and cheese as a main, and it's like that's you know 
that's like that's what's for dinner and i'm stuck i don't know Mm -hmm. okay all right uh and then kelly uh yours was Movies should uh, be movies, 90 minutes. Yeah, I mean, they should. That's a fact. So really, uh, you I, I have to not lose here, Rob. Mm-hmm. Rob, you can retweet my tweet also if you okay. want. Okay, the... all right. Um, and Look then... at that clout chasing I'm doing here. Yes. <laughs> On a Saturday, no less. <laughs> On a Saturday. Yes, and then uh, Aisha... Uh, you might get nothing sand, here. Sand in the Saturday dead zone. Uh, yeah. sa- we had then the, that sandals are better than flip-flops. Yep. That okay. was the first thing I thought, even though I prefer flip-flops. Okay. Interesting. But I figured well, if I prefer flip-flops, that could be a hot take. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. So if I opposited it, it would be a lukewarmish. Flip-flops are the ones with the they're with the, the thong in the between your the toe. Mm, I don't love those. Mm-hmm. My feet are wide, so they never really like enjoy themselves in a in a pair of flip-flops. Okay. You're a lady, and I feel like they're th- like thrown at us that we wear have to wear them. Guys, bad art to do that as much. I agree bad with that. I have sweaty feet, so they make like really loud noises. Mm, same, yeah. It's like Whack. a clap. I don't love. Yeah, Whack. I was Whack. not great. Whack. <laughs> really learning a lot about our panelists. Sweaty feet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Akiva, mm-hmm. how are those polls looking? How's your exit polling? Okay, so I'll tell you who's in first place. And okay, again, how, here it's about not how losing. Many, what, how many votes did you get? 116, and, and I will. God okay. dang. Yeah. All right, all right. Quick. At 116, amazingly quick. All right, yeah. 100, that, that's just, I guess people are just sitting, waiting for mm-hmm. Akiva to tweet, and then they now, are in theory, really somebody in. can vote more than once here. Hopefully they don't figure it out, but. Okay, uh, 116, yeah. all right. Akiva, who is going to be safe uh, after okay, the, the lukewarm the takeoff? The first person safe is Puya Zanvakili with his take of, of mac and cheese as good as a cider main dish. I think people agreed with it. I don't think they like followed the lukewarm. I think people liked his take the most. But mm-hmm. either way, yeah. Did got, you um? Did you put place. the answers in alphabetical? Did you put me in the middle? Because I could have put you in the middle, middle bump. I got the middle put, bump. Then you may have um, gotten the middle bump. bump. Middle bump. Yeah. You yeah. may have gotten the middle bump. Lukewarm uh, mac easy, and cheese is winner. no good, though. No, that is yeah, true. No, easy, no. easy winner. Uh, um, all right. Tacos over overrated from Chappelle. Second place. Ooh. Okay. okay. Lukewarm takes uh, the, for the for the food takes. Okay. Could mm-hmm. Matt be they far like behind? That. Okay. Uh, uh, E-sales are better, better than flip-flops from Aisha. Safe. Okay. Safe. Oh, wow. Okay, this, so Matt or Kelly is about to be eliminated here in the lukewarm takeoff. Yes. Now, Matt was uh you know not thrilled with the lack of direction given yeah akiva yes. <laughs> but it was yeah. it was not given to all five people do you want to tell uh, us Ke- the results akiva kelly reused uh a take that was i don't think hers from mm-hmm. a previous episode which is good i think a good panther move but the winner uh i guess the person who finished fourth with uh 14 votes to the nine for the last place take was the take food should always be salted by matt scott i'm sorry kelly wow. but- no! Oh wow! Oh, sorry, okay, Kelly. you know I had a strategy. I tried my best, but that's okay. Sometimes okay. it just doesn't happen. Always Ke- a pleasure having Kelly White here. Kelly, you tried to make a point that the movies need to be longer. Mm-hmm. Backfired. I think Cruel Intentions I mean, was almost a good hundred. Yeah, it was ninety-eight minutes. Um, yeah. I don't think I needed any more content. <laughs> but however, yeah. I might go watch the next two because I am home alone. Can we get a report, then. Kelly? Give us a report for Cruel Intentions two. Um and uh and you know we'll see we'll see how it is. I don't think okay. we're I'm putting sure, in the crappy movie diaper, but I'm sure it's a masterpiece. Mm-hmm. It's All not right. great. It's not great. Mm, okay. All right, Kelly White. And then they were four. A great showing. Okay. Uh, but now we're down to the final four. Okay. All right, Akiva. Here we yeah. are. O- only three games left. Okay. All yeah. right, Akiva. Here is a game. Tell us about the, what game you have here for game number six. Okay. So. The next game up is called Grow Up, based on our our good friend, Kirsten McGinnis. Okay? Okay. We are going to give you a celebrity. You have to guess their height. You'll write it down on a piece of paper. The first, we will do one celebrity. Whoever comes closest will be able to throw two of the other three people into a duel. We'll ask them another celebrity height. I do have a backup in case of a uh, a tie in round one. Now, famously, uh, 
Akiva's height has been talked about a lot on this podcast. Okay, mm-hmm. so this is in keeping with uh, Renap. Too bad. Good thing Jared Jerome is not playing. That's right. Okay. All right. So Akiva's going to give you a celebrity. And you have yes. to tell us uh, how tall right. this celebrity is in, in feet and inches. Yeah. Feet I'm sorry, what? You do the one, you do oh, the one okay. dash and then, no, he, he's not saying add up the inches. Just write like. No, yes, if, if, yes. If we said minute bowl, you'd write seven, seven. Okay, and we are also uh, half inches are in play. Half inches are in play. If, is if is this a race? Play. Should this no. be like the first person to buzz in? No, no, no. 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 You will write them you down write and down then we'll, your go, answer. Through, we'll okay. go through one okay. by one. Okay. All right. Everybody has a pen in hand. Pen to in tell hand. Us. Blank okay. paper. Hey, good luck, Chappelle. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. <laughs> you have any? Do you have anybody you think you might throw in, Matt? If uh, if you win this one? No, I have no clue. No, okay. no clue at all. We have Matt Chappelle. Puya and Aisha left. Okay. That's the fun. All right. Report. So the person that Akiva is looking for you to tell him the height of is the winner of the 1999 Choice Movie Sleazebag Award winning from the Teen Choice Awards uh, star of Cruel Intentions. That would be Sarah Michelle Geller. Looking for the height you all watched her in the, the film Cruel Intentions. Mm-hmm. How tall is Sarah Michelle Geller? SMG. SMG. Okay, I'll give you a moment to think about it. The person who is closest to correct will pick the two people who will be in this next duel. All right. He has a puzzled look on his face. SMG. All right. Tall is she. We'll go the other way this time since Chappelle's always had to go first. We'll start with Aisha. Well, I thought we were supposed to do it at the same time. Yeah. Re- yeah. No. You, oh, yeah. You'll write it. Um, Wait, every, everybody, everybody hold up your. Everybody oh, hold up hold your answer. Fine. 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 Okay. Fine. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. And so uh, let's reveal the answers in three, two, one. Reveal. Okay. All right. Chappelle, he says five foot five. Mm-hmm. Matt says five foot uh five and a half inches. Yep. Okay. Uh Aisha says five foot three. Mm-hmm. And Puya says five foot four. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Akiva. Rob. Yeah. How tall is Sarah Michelle Geller? SMG is but five two. Five foot two. Aisha? And Aisha, you will advance to the final three, but first mm-hmm. you will need to tell us. Which two people? There's only one move here, Aisha. Which two people <laughs> will you put into the duel? Oh no! Okay, so for another round of grow up, you, Aisha, you kind of have to do it. Give us the battle. Do don't, yeah, the battle. Not, Aisha, well, don't, you, Aisha. I've been on the bottom you, this whole time. I don't think I can bottom. send you, but thank you. Don't do it, please. Give please. us the feud. I'm just Aisha. tired. Give us the feud. <laughs> I'm what new. It's what the <laughs> Don't do it. Time. Don't do content. it. Don't do I've, it. You know, you I have to. I've got your back. Look, this is final two. Final but two. Final sometimes two. when you're given the opportunity, okay. you're supposed to take it. And unfortunately, even though I really don't want to send you, Matt, because you deserve a break. I'm sorry, Matt and Chappelle. Oh, oh watch yeah, this. Gonna watch this. I'm going to break. I'm going to break Chappelle's soul right now. <laughs> I'm taking him into he this He deserves one. Let's it. Go. And you should. Let's go. Chappelle, Let's I okay. love you, it, but... it is what I deserve. Yeah. All right. Matt. Don't choke. Wow. And Chappelle. Okay. It's what, right. the, it's what the gods wanted. Puya, you will the advance. Angels in the outfield. You'll go to the uh, <laughs> final three. Matt and Chappelle. Okay. Pick up your pens once again. Oh, no. Okay. Because... If there's anything that the Renap Nation wants to know, <gasps> it is the height of one of our patron saints of Rob McKinney the podcast. How tall is Whoopi Goldberg? Okay. All right. We're looking for how tall is Whoopi Goldberg? Akiva, I don't know so if much you, drama. I don't know if you uh, checked out at all. There's a brand new show on ABC called Claim to Fame, where the contestants are uh, the actual relatives of Mm -hmm. famous people. Something that you would be interested in, I think. Yes. Uh, And so we covered the premiere, Jenny Autumn and myself, of Claim to Fame. I thought it was a very good show. Yeah, you seem to like it. 
one of the people that 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 you get to you play along. It's it's uh, lots of mask singer vibes. But one of the people okay. in the premiere episode that they tell you is actually the granddaughter of Whoopi Goldberg. I feel like I would have recognized her immediately. I've been on Whoopi, <laughs> Whoopi's Insta enough to know who. who <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. All right. I, I, I guess Chappelle has. At first, I thought Chappelle was sweating and was like dabbing his forehead. Okay. No, no. I picked okay. my answer so quickly that uh, it's just been sitting here on my forehead. All right. I'm waiting on Matt's all right. Well, Matt, are you ready? Sure, are you locked fine, in? Whatever. Okay. Yeah. All right. I don't Ch- know this. Chappelle is good or evil going to win here? Okay. <laughs> Chappelle, who is evil? I don't know. It's up to the listeners. Who's, who's to this <laughs> Chappelle is locked in first. Chappelle, uh, what did you put down as your response? I didn't write anything. I kept the what? same answer from last round. I used five oh, five okay. again. Five foot five. Four, I assume everyone is five five. Four, Anybody shorter than Whoopi me? Whoopi Goldberg. Anybody shorter than Chappelle is five foot five. Okay. Mm-hmm. Matt. So the the okay. Well, I did once so see Whoopi Goldberg in a Whole Foods. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. okay. And yes. but I was like twenty feet away. Mm-hmm. Here's my estimate. Was she like getting something from the top shelf? Five, seven Five, and a half. Five, seven and a half. Five, seven and a half. Okay. Well, we have a winner. Good. There's no tie. Oh, no. Rob, you want to tell him? According to Akiva's research, <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg is five foot four. <gasps> I'm sorry, Matt. Chappelle okay, what? <laughs> advances. Aisha, I hope you're proud of yourself. Chappelle, I'm coming for you. This is not Was over. Whoopi wearing heels that day, possible. Matt? Possible. It's possible. Yeah. She was reached. She was she was surrounded by like secure. I don't know. It was hard. I was far away. <laughs> yeah. She might have been wearing one of those like Star Trek Next Generation hats also. That could have had a couple of You know, of honestly, the hair things. does kind of. I, yeah. You know what? I Let's get him out of here, y'all. We got, we got things to do. Let's get him out of here. <laughs> Look. I'm coming for you, Chappelle. You're my ox, <laughs> and I don't respect you. And it okay. shows. <laughs> okay. And they were right, free. That is eliminated. Okay. It's down to Chappelle, Aisha, and Puya. All right. Down to the final three here. Only two games left. Akiva. Yep. Tell us about round number seven. Okay. This is called Quick Pitch. All three, Quick listeners, pitch. all three contestants are going to pitch a wheel idea for the podcast. It's going right to the listeners. The listeners are going to vote. The lowest of the three is eliminated. The top two will go on to the final game. Okay. Quick pitch. Quick pitch. All right. More drama than I figured it would happen, Rob. Yeah. So, uh, do we want to give our uh, panelists a moment to think about yeah, we'll what? Moment. We'll talk about it. Their pitch I'm for ready. the wheel. Okay. Oh, Puya, Puya is ready and, and locked in. Are, are, Puya, are you say you want everybody else to to jump in? Uh, let, let's give them, let's give them a minute. Akiva, yeah. Sure. yeah. yeah do, do you have any uh, listener feedback or anything uh, from, uh, or should we save it all for the mailbag? What from last week? Yeah. Any podcast business to discuss? Um. Well, do you want to talk about something now? Sure. Or, uh, so you just talked about uh, claim to fame. Yeah. And people were messaging me and saying, Rob said this is an immediate wheel idea. Is this is this an accurate um, an accurate portrayal of what you said? What did I say that you we want to do it on Renap claim the fame? Um, did I say, did that? say that of of that? Oh, guess the uh, relative of the oh, Renap personalities. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think that, that that might be fun. I think it's a lock. I think that's an, like a straight on the wheel. I'm no longer idea. ready. I think it's an amazing idea. Yes, but Puya, did we just uh, snake your idea? Yeah, I thought it was. Yeah. Oh no, sorry. So oh. People messaged me and said, uh, "Makes sense, said, makes sense," and said we should do it. I think I think it's automatic. I think it's a great idea. I've got some ideas. I actually I will produce it and find the people if you want, Rob, and then mm-hmm. you, and Je- you and Jenny can uh, can be the guests. What? And we're playing. What? We're, You're playing we're playing and trying and, and trying to guess, okay, and and, mm-hmm. and everybody has to give two truths and a lie about uh, who they are and what. Well, is that how they're... the game? I have to watch the show still. Is it they give you two watch truths the show? Yes. For instance, uh, that uh, that Whoopi Goldberg's granddaughter, uh, I believe, mm-hmm. said um, that their uh, their relative was their grandmother, uh, mm-hmm. who uh, has uh, won many, uh, who has won awards. Uh, mm-hmm. And the uh, most famous award uh, that they won was a uh, AVN award. 
And that was a lie. Oh, she <laughs> doesn't have an EGOT. -ta. <laughs> yes, I don't believe. Okay. Yeah, that Whoopi went has uh, an a, a AVN award. She's what not best yet. known for being an actor and her biggest award is an AVN. And for those who don't know, it's an adult film award. Yeah. Oh, I'm shocked. Mm -hmm. this is new information. Mm -hmm. Never heard of this thing. They have an award ceremony. <laughs> yes, I believe so. I believe so. Oh, my God. Okay. All right, please. Do you still need another moment? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, here's another fact, a uh, fun fact about Whoopi that we learned on Claim to Fame this week, Akiva. My yeah. grandma is like any other grandmother. I think people always misconstrue the fact that she's famous and she's Whoopi Goldberg. She still gets in my ass. Yeah. She's Bro. She still gets in her ass. Still gets she in her ass. Did she get the award? No. Amanda, can you do me a favor? <laughs> That is an award, I think. Yeah, Ama Amanda, can you write down the wheel pitches and 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 put them in the chat? Send them to me so I can just post paste them straight to the form. We could get this done quick. Thank you. OK. All right. All right. Who's going first here? I don't think there's any advantage or disadvantage to A, B or C here. Surely not. Yeah. All right. Let's start. Let's start with uh, let's start with Chappelle. He's first on my screen. Chappelle, Aisha, then Puya. Chappelle, you, have you written down your idea yet? Are you still thinking? He has like his thinking cap on. Maybe he's supposed to write it. I just don't pitch it. Oh, oh yeah, you don't have to write it down. Can y'all hear yeah, me? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 You could just tell. No, sure. I thought we were just supposed to pitch something. Because yeah, I'm I guess there's no reason to write it down. That's a good point. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay. Um. This is hard. I don't. I famously am not good at this kind of thing. Uh, I'm more like a like punch up an, a past idea type person, mm -hmm. but I can't think of any off the top of my head. So, um, maybe. Uh, bring on like let's do a game where mm -hmm. you and Rob have to uh, workshop somebody's like uh, oh that's what it is okay so take a popular storyline from like a TV show right and y'all have to workshop it and somebody so like I guess you bring on a guest and they'll bring on their whatever their show is or whatever and you give the perspective of like the come with guy right so you don't give the perspective of the main character because we watched that but you talk about like the story of this from like uh, the other friends uh, point of view. So it's like, uh, if it's friends, you're talking about Rachel's point of view of the break or whatever. Okay. I, I, friends is a bad example, okay. but like something with a main character, you talk about B, the B plot. Yeah. Person. Can we, pu can we punch this up at all? Or are, are we just taking Chappelle's idea? I think we got to take Chappelle's idea. I and mean, we could always punch Ugh. it up in the mailbag if we like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think there is something there, even if not, not even in the game. I think there's something there. I just don't know what it is. I was given short notice. Mm hmm. Yeah, I I feel like the like uh we could we could help we could help this uh like like you know I I feel like that we should be we should be able to to tweak should we this help all bit. three is that fine yes, we can help all yes, three yes okay, yes so I, so I think that this is a, the, instead of a TV show I think it should be like a romantic comedy and we're sort of like get, hearing the story of a film from the perspective of like the best friend uh because the, yeah. they always have like the person who's like the like the like the uh best friend of the guy and the best friend of the girl and then um like what is what is this story from their perspective right so cruel intentions for example like we see ryan Phillippe's character we see catherine but what is cecile thinking <laughs> you know like she's wearing like so some of there is the oldest person i believe in the entire movie and she's playing the youngest person in the entire movie what is the, the thought process of this woman wearing this like ridiculous sweater so maybe like uh that's mm -hmm. where i'm getting it yeah that's okay it. that's all i got all right <laughs> uh maybe it's uh, so maybe let's call this one uh robin akiva get a uh new perspective robin akiva get a remix <laughs> get a rem okay <laughs> yeah all right all right that's the that's the idea okay mm -hmm. all right who is next aisha or puya okay aisha. um aisha's next no stranger to pitching wheel ideas okay no but I've only done it like two times, so. But I think this one will get some votes. Robin Akiva get bit. Robin Akiva have to watch one or all three Twilight movies and then come on with Mary or someone else who really likes Twilight and do trivia and quizzes to determine if you are part vampire or part werewolf, if you are team Jacob or team Edward, all the things Twilight, if you're going to be glittery and wearing some lipstick, or if you can shapeshift, all that kind of stuff. 
Okay. Are Robin we watching them? We're watching Twilight. Are we watching them all on one on uh, one X speed? Because that's a lot of movies to watch in one week. Could it be like mm-hmm. a Trilight? No one needs to see it again on one X. Mm-hmm. So you're pitching on three X. Okay. Trilight. Robin Givey got bit, aka Trilight. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. All right. All right. That's good. All right. Now we're uh, last pitch comes from Puya Z. All right. So this has a couple layers to it, um, but I'll try and explain it the best I can. It's going to be called Robin Akiva on set. And here's how it goes. So, you know, the star of Renap, we've had conversations, dreams, legends were told about a potential fan fiction that could at some point become a thing, become manifested. That's obviously not happened. Um, But here's my thought is you do a episode or now we have the Facebook group, which I think the Renap Facebook group could help with this. You get the listeners to pitch a story and the story can be, it's Robert Akiva based. It's an episode Robert Akiva based with like, you know, different guests that they potentially can think of to put in the story. But the twist is when you end up picking whatever the story is, let's say people submit 40 submissions, whatever is pitched, you then use the wheel, Rob, that you just showed us to determine the cast for this and then also the genre for this and, you know, potential different hijinks. Like, oh, what's the big ending? What's the twist ending for this podcast or the story? And you can add those ideas to the wheel and you wheel them, you mix and match them. Then on the episode, Robin Akiva are on set, you've essentially now directed this story, which is going to be reenacted by some podcasters, which none of us really are going to know what the twist ending is because it's been like Frankenstein in with people submitting different things. You plug them together and you have now directed your very own podcast short. Okay. But is this like an improv show of sort of like, all right, here's a, here's a story. And it's like, all right, give me a, like, uh, give us a genre, give us a, like a, uh, you know, a, and we'll, a little bit who's line base, uh, who's yeah. line, uh, inspired. Yes. I would say so. Yeah. Yeah. I think this could be a banger. I think if you get the right people on it and the creative minds of the Renap audience, which I know, uh, they come with a lot of ideas. So I feel like this could be something to happen. And what's the name of this? Uh, Robin and Kiva are on set. On, on set. set. Okay. Are we able I to hope... succinctly explain that to the yeah. uh, to the listeners? I mean, good luck. It's going to be interesting. Robin and Kiva. Uh, okay. So yeah, um, we come in with every with, with everything that's already set, or um, that basically we have like all of our suggestions on the wheel, and we're spinning the wheel to then improvise how this is going to play out. So you could go one of two ways with this, right? Is that because um, obviously this is one of those ideas that might need a week of marination. So if it pulls up on the wheel, you're like, okay. So for this week, Facebook group, Reddit, like you've got you've got to submit some stuff to us, and then you you do another idea that ends up landing on the wheel. Second, this will be the week mm-hmm. after that. Determined, done. Okay. So then, um, when you do all that, then at the end of the next episode, you have the choice of either revealing what the genre is going to be and stuff like that, or you just do all that offline, and then we all get it gets revealed on that podcast itself. Okay. And hopefully, Mike Bloom is available this week. He better be. But don't schedule it on a week that Mike is traveling. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, I think that uh, Dr. Amanda has mm-hmm. uh, summaries of all three things. Are they are they formatted, ready and to go to I need, I need one Twitter. minute. Yeah. Okay. One minute. All right. And then the listeners will vote. And then whoever is the lowest will uh, then be eliminated from the game. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you send me Aisha's? I don't see Aisha's here. Wait, what happened? I mean, I see it in the chat. It's in the chat. Yeah. Okay. Um, Akiva, does the winning uh, one go onto the wheel? Is that no. a twist? Okay. No. Oh, no. no. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe, but... Uh, Akiva doesn't wanna... like these. <laughs> no, I do not <laughs> like them. I just, uh, like, I wasn't trying to pressure them into coming Wait, up. so is this the end of the game? So, like, no. whoever wins no. this wins? No, the winners... There is the fi- a the... final, a final two. two. Oh, dear God. Akiva, this could have been the end of the game. They uh, People <laughs> vote, and then that's well, it. Well, we like... Wheel. A, a send, Amanda, send me the... the you should Chappelle. want please, because I need it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, you got somewhere to go? Uh, yeah <laughs> you did not say this is gonna be a four-hour podcast 
Almost Chappelle, there. check right. your email. Uh, <laughs> that's on the wheel. Chappelle checks his email. Go read all of my archive emails. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Are you, you at you inbox zero, Chappelle? Do you get down to like to zero or no? You don't? No, never. I think the never. DMs would be a lot more interesting than the emails. Yeah, can we do that? Thing goes down in my DMs. It's very much like this. I, mean, I feel like that you get don't get so many like uh, so much junk mail uh, in your DMs, right? I mean, my Twitter DMs are pretty tame, but uh, they go down in the popping. DM. They go yeah. down. <laughs> yeah, and LinkedIn is where uh, the magic happens. LinkedIn. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Help me out there. All right, Akiva, are you ready to send out this poll? Yeah, uh, in ten seconds. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, Rob, I think the the claim to fame idea is a banger. Like that's gonna that be is, that's gonna be great. Mm -hmm. I think that's a, that would be a good one. Yeah. Because you know it can be someone's relative, friend. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, are you? Yeah, why, do you think we should be this. looking at them while while you do it? I know you do on the show, of course, but uh, yeah, I think so. I think that that would probably that would be pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Akiva. Do we have anything else to do while we're waiting for the poll results to come in? Um, not really. We still. It's funny. We have most of the people who were eliminated stayed mm -hmm. to hang out. They, yeah. You know. Um, do we want to get any mailbag? Do we want yeah, to unofficially mailbag pitch, well, Do you want to unofficially start the mailbag and then? Sure. Uh, okay. I don't Let's, know if that's confusing. Sure, whatever I, you want. I, I don't think it's that confusing. Why don't we do that? Okay, sure. this is like, uh, well, let's have a line. Let's give it a, a, a beat to let the poll results come in. Mm -hmm. We'll take our break. We'll come back. It'll be the start of the mailbag. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the only people that are getting screwed over, the people that really hated the game and just wanted to get to the mailbag and they'll right. be like, what? This game is still going on. Mm -hmm. Hi. Okay. Uh, yeah. And so, and then we'll also maybe get some mailbag pitches from the listeners and anybody else from the panel. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, so let's do say, that. Yes? One thing for these is like you're a little bit. I I cleaned up the language a little bit, but you're a little bit at the whim of like how Amanda wrote your pitch. So oh, so you blame the, her. oh, this sounds like you're oh. throwing Amanda. <laughs> All right, She's capitalizing. Some All right. Stuff. So uh, let's take our mailbag break, and when we mm -hmm. come back, let's get into the mailbag for episode one eighty three. Right after this. <laughs> Yes, Thank sorry. <laughs> Are you wanting okay, to see if let's I can do very, that? Let's be very safe. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let me just bring that up for for you. Thanks. I really okay. feel disrespected when other people don't request it. I'm like, come on, y'all. Okay. Here, right well, let me just figure out when that starts. Okay. Man, the key, I need a bing bang. Rob, games like Jackbox, it's Rob. I still make the field team this spin so right. Okay. All right. Here we go. Thank you. Okay, okay, it's Phil and Jack Fox. Rob and Kiwi got game, got games like Jack Fox. It's the Rob and Akiva need a bing bang. Rob and Akiva need a bing bang. Right. So now it's me, Phil T. So pull up a chair and listen to Akiva talk about how he picked up a spare. Come to Rob and Akiva for barrels of banter. Not Lizzie McGuire, but I'm ducking a wanker. If you don't go and leave a five star review, you, you can catch these hands back to Timbuktu. Watching S3 F7 on HBO. If you hate then it's L plus ratio. They've gone and watched Seinfeld. They've yet to watch Scum talking to my two dads. Well, where's my mom? Where's my mom, dads? Dads. Dads, where's my mom? Okay, by, by request, that was just filthy on the mailbag here this week. As uh, if you skipped ahead, bad news for you. Uh, we're still down to the final three in Akiva's original dual intentions game. We are waiting for the results of the Twitter polls to determine who's going on to the final two. But in the meantime, as we wait for poll results to come in, uh, we can start to dive into this week's mailbag. Uh, Akiva, any old business uh, for the mailbag to discuss? Uh, I mean, we last week we talked about our Renap Facebook group. I saw some people saying like, boy, this is a boomer idea, but uh, hey, uh, what over 400 people in the yep. Renap needs a yep. Facebook Even though we group? We made it hard to find, it didn't really push it anywhere. It's already over 400 people. Now. Okay, yes. Rob is a website.com slash Renap group. You gotta put, give us the password to mm -hmm. get in, and then you have know, 400 plus people can't be wrong, right? Uh, I mean, I, I'm sure, like, I mean, every. <laughs> 
political candidate in history has gotten at least 400 votes. Like 400 people could easily be wrong. Mm-hmm. You can talk about tens of millions of people in theory. Could be. But yeah. I, but uh, yeah, in this case, 400 people are not wrong. It'll be fun. I'll, okay. I'll take all polls there first and stuff like that. So, OK. Uh, all right. Um, I have I, I'm, I'm ready to announce uh, the winner and, 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 and the final two. Oh, is it a runaway? Not a runaway, but I think we have enough uh, like uh, leeway here to to announce the winner. And go OK, straight into all right. Run. So let, let's hear your your polling. Uh, how many how many people voted uh, right now? We have, we're closing in on 100 votes At 100 okay. votes. OK, Okay. so the three the three pitches were um, Ayesha post, uh, pitched. Robin Akiva get bit, a.k.a. Trilight. Mm-hmm. Uh, Robin Akiva on set where the listeners pitch a story and listeners acted out. That was from Puya. And Chappelle pitched uh, Robin Akiva get a remix uh, where we workshop the plotline of romantic comedy from the POV of a not main character. OK, I'll say this. I thought I had a very clear order of who would vote for what here, and it did not go how I thought at all. Oh, interesting. Ooh. OK. I thought I thought there was an obvious winner and the obvious winner is. Uh, All right. Hold on. Hold on. So it, do you have an obvious uh, winner or an obvious person who's eliminated? Well, I well, I had I thought I'm saying I thought somebody would be. The but by, based winner. on the results, is it is it is it closer? Is, is like number one a one runaway and two are close? One, one, and, two one are close. and two are close. Yeah. OK. Number one will get to go first in the final game. OK. And, and that person. Is Chappelle for Robin Akiva get a remix. Okay. I think people would probably like that name. Yeah. Great yeah. name. Great That's marketing. why I made sure to change it. <laughs> I was like, we're remix. Although I, I switched the capitalization to, to like help all of them to capitalize stuff. And freaking mm-hmm. Google Forms like made it a whole new idea. So I had to add the two together. Oh. But uh, anyway. Um, people are like, please remix Robin Akiva. It's like, it is, it is getting a with, little with, long in the tooth. With just like one less vote than that right now. And so left, we have uh, Puya's Robin Akiva on set, Aisha's Robin Akiva get bit, aka Trilight. The other person going to the finale to face up against face off against Chappelle is Puya for Robin Akiva on set. Robin. Akiva. Uh, what uh, that Aisha? I can't believe it. I thought I thought her idea was an easy winner. Honestly, I, I thought it was. Too. Yeah, I do too. I'm so. What do you think? Is Twilight too beloved? Do you think that that's maybe, what it is? Maybe people maybe don't want to hear is. us talk Twilight. I don't know. I feel like though I'm the last woman standing. I came back from near elimination in round one. I have won today. Chappelle, will you take him out? Good luck, guys. Got it. I was wow. rooting for you. What are, what are the chances? Wow. Puya, Puya Chappelle, Chappelle, final yeah. two. Last two people in rematch. the game. Rematch. Last two this people dance. in the game. Yes. Okay. Wow. All um, right. Yeah. Should, should they very give, do they need to give speeches now, Akiva? No. I, I want to hear from. So. I want to hear from the eliminated contestants. I really want to hear them talk about well, how Puya I, and I, I, Rob, I have an idea. I have an yes. idea. Tell me yes. if you like this. I think they should each be able to pick a teammate from the still in the Zoom eliminated contestants to help them in this round. What do you think about that? That's fine. Okay. Well, let me tell you the idea first before you make a decision because it may impact who you pick. And I'll say I think they should have to pick first and not know what the idea is. Oh, I think it's I hear what you're saying, but it'll be very painful if someone doesn't get picked here. Okay. They don't even know what I'm talking about. I think can we tell them the idea first and then they pick someone? Uh, I mean, this is this is uh, Akiva's fun yeah, house. Let's tell them so, the idea first, right. OK? Uh, but first pick will go to um, uh, Chappelle since he had the the, the most uh, votes. All right. The final game, the final two will be decided by a game we like to call hurdle or in this case, we'll call it mom OK? We're going to play uh, a version of Wordle that Rob and I have invented over time, which is a woman's name. In this case, it will be the, the name of the mother of the person who helped me uh, most make all these games. I'll say who they are uh, right after this. Um, but so we are trying to guess a five letter woman's name. Chappelle has the choice of if he wants first, he'll go first, third, fifth, and so on, or uh, second, fourth, sixth. I'll go first. But, okay, so you're going to go first. You will give. Uh, you will give your guess. Let's say it was uh, Akiva, you know, and you. So we'll tell you how green well, letters we'll, and yellow we'll, letters. We'll tell you yeah. green letters and yellow letters. Exactly like if you were playing. Um, so you don't want to do too good on the first one or else maybe uh, Puyo will be able to snipe. But anyway, is there anybody Wait, you want? 
I'm just saying. So I could get like all the letters and then uh, except one, and then Puyo can just come in and get one letter. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's yeah. bullshit. I don't want to go well, first. Oh, you already <laughs> picked. You already picked. Sorry. Oops. No, no. You're first. Well, no, then, you're stuck. You're going first. Fine. Yeah. Then, well, I mean, you, you pick a bad. You can like pick a bad Zizix, name. I guess. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um. Anyway, uh, is there anybody in from the list? So people who are still here are Aisha, Matt Scott, Latanya Starks, Kelly White. Oh, did Amanda leave? <laughs> Yes. yes, this is the one the role she was born to play. I, this is the sucks. moment I needed her. Chappelle, yes. for the content, as, I made that just you for Amanda. Pick your, you should yes. pick your friend as, as, as she wrote cry. in the as she wrote in the chat. Uh, you know, this is incredible. Uh, <laughs> I was production so, that, been seen. six minutes ago. I didn't see. It. Hey, I, I actually have show. to run now, but this was very fun. Oh, she's gonna cry when she realizes she misses. All right, you know what? We're gonna make him go. Cry. I was about person. to pick her. <laughs> okay, one v one. One v one. Sorry, I was just doing because she's like the you know she's a, a wordle celebrity. <laughs> I was about to go straight to Doctor Amanda, and she left know, me for I dead. I know. <laughs> She'll mm -hmm. devastating. All right. So you ready? You have to guess the name, Chappelle. You're going first, Rob. You'll tell him how many greens, how many yellows he has. Okay. All right, Chappelle. It's a Karen. five letter name, five letter name. Okay. Uh, Chappelle has come in with Karen and we can tell you uh, that, that we do have some feedback for you. We have several yellow letters uh, for the uninitiated. A yellow letter means that it is letters that are in the name, but not in the right position. Uh, and there are actually three yellow letters uh, that are in the this word uh the a the mm -hmm. r and the e are yellow letters they are in the name but not in the right position the a the r and the e mm -hmm. interesting all right puya you can win dual intentions right now if you have the correct five letter name Correct five of them. The A, the R, and the E. You know what? I just have to think of a name that had all three. Let's go with Grace. Oh, okay. So Puya comes in with Grace and I think it's the same, right? It's the same. Uh, three it is yellow. three yellow letters, but they are not in the correct position. Which, Back to Chappelle. Letters? What's the that? Same ones. It's same ones. Same, same three letters. Same, yeah, same three. Same letters, three letters, but none of still none of them are in the correct position with mm -hmm. the name Grace. Oh wow. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> um, I don't know a lot of names. Like, I guess. Um, <laughs> no help from the chat, please. Uh, Matt Scott says the tension is palpable. How, how much time do I have? Um, I mean, ideally, right. like uh, zero. Thank so. you, thank you, Robert. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hell, I don't know any five-letter names anymore. <laughs> All of a sudden, <laughs> you know, like shit. Um, this is hard. This is hard. Yeah. Um, um I, <laughs> I got. I have nothing. I don't know. Can I pass? I don't know. Just don't say know. a name. Sure. Say any name, even if uh, you know. He can like, pass. I can't. No, he's got to say a name. He's got. I got to get something out of him. Yeah, yeah he's got. Think of a he can guess. Name. Like mm -hmm. you have to say a name. It has to be a real name. It doesn't have to have. The A's okay, the hold on, because I'm gonna come up with a five-letter name. Damn it! If he passes, I feel like he lo he just loses his turn. No, but I think it's um, a disadvantage. To okay, Ro he Robin. Then Puya should pass. Robin. No, well, that, Robin. I mean, then we'll just be here. Robin. <laughs> Robin. That's a five-letter name. Okay, right? it with is. an I or a Y. With an I. Okay, so Chappelle has said Robin, uh, and so uh, what we can tell you here is that uh, there is the yellow R still there, but uh, we do have our first green letter of the game, uh, and that is the B in the third spot. That is so green. We have a B in the middle, and we have an R that is yellow, um, that, is yellow that can only be in two places. 
because it's been yellow three times. And an E and an A. Okay. I think you're giving too much away, Akiva. No, <laughs> I mean, I'm literally just telling, the, let, letting the listeners know the facts. Hmm. Okay. I'm trying to figure out. Do we have so we have four letters in play. One is mm -hmm. green, three are yellow. Yep. Um, where I'm looking, this one can only go in these two spots. Uh, this one can be here hypothetically. Puya can win the game right now. No pressure. Ooh, and yeah. if I lose, I think I'm gonna give Chappelle quite the mm -hmm. advantage here to, to take it away. So if I'm shooting, I better not miss my yeah. shot here. Okay, I'm gonna go with. Hold on, let me just make sure I got. Yeah, it's hard, huh? Yeah, hard. yeah, because yeah. I, I just realized I don't. I think next time we have to almost like build a hurdle so they could like look yeah. at it visually. <laughs> it's hard. Mm -hmm. I'm like, but the heads up right is interesting. The heads up is yeah. interesting. I like okay. this. I like this. Rob, right. I already have my answer. Good. Oh, I think I, I think I think I'm calling my shot here. So Puya needs to win this one. Mm -hmm. I feel like or I should do some suspense. Does Chappelle just getting in Puya's head? Uh -huh. It's possible. No. Look, I'm gonna do the Matt Scott. Chappelle's been the villain all day. Um. The first, the first, um, the first uh, name that Chappelle put out was Karen. Yes, K A R E N yes. and correct. A R E were yellow. That correct. is correct. I then said Grace. The same three <laughs> letters, still yellow. We moved. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then Chappelle said Robin, and that, B was green. That is the recap. Yes, that's mm -hmm. the recap. Sorry, I didn't mean to. This might not be the best podcast right now, but I'm actually trying to trying to beat mm -hmm. Chappelle here. Mm -hmm. Trying Come to on, give a, Aisha what she wanted here. Nah, um, Aisha, Aisha burned me uh, just now. I can't believe it. I thought I was rooting for her. <laughs> mm. Rob, my answer is already here. It's on my forehead. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go with Aubrey. Okay, so that's A-U-B-R-Y. No, sorry. Can I ch change that? No. Akiva? If I couldn't no, if I couldn't switch the order, then he can't switch his answer. That's and we bullshit. didn't give him any uh yeah, I didn't get any feedback. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just my feedback was you okay. All right, all right, we'll allow it. Okay. I'm gonna go with uh Saber. <laughs> Saber is that That's even a, a name? name? Okay, yeah. Hey, I like that name. <laughs> okay. Um yeah, so S A B actually S A B E R. S A B E R. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Hey, that's and my I'm, mom's name. Okay. Um, okay. All right. S A. Jeez, that's stupid. <laughs> S A V uh, E R. Okay. I think same thing. I think we have. Uh, uh, but okay. So, yeah. So yeah, the B is still the B is still green mm -hmm. in saber. Uh, the A, the E, and the R are yellow. Mm -hmm. so was saber what you wrote down? Wrote down, Chappelle. It was. Uh, what? Give me the letters again. Okay. <laughs> Um, so in, in the, in the word or name saber, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, the B, -E -R? The, yes. yes, the, uh, the like B is green, the A, the E and the R are yellow. Mm hmm. Okay. Now I got to remix my thing. I can't believe Puya sniped me like that. Um, you said you had it, Chappelle. You said you were I, ready. You, you, me and you have, we're on the same wavelength. We have the same uh, brain here. Mm -hmm. Um, um, I think if you're writing down the letters, a lot of information has been given here. Yes, as to where some of the letters are, other letters are. Yeah, the B is there. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hmm. Let's see. People are like, I skipped ahead to the mailbag for this. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to cut stuff. So. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> um. I don't, uh, this is hard. Um, don't mess up, Chappelle. You got this. I mean, I don't really know anymore. I mean, after Saber, I mean, what am I going to do? Uh, let's, let's go back to that Aubrey thing that Puya was going to do. Okay, so Chappelle okay. now says Aubrey, uh, A-U-B-R-Y, correct? Mm -hmm. sure. All right. All right, so we're going to give a second green letter here. Uh, the R is also green, mm -hmm. the A is still yellow, nothing for the U or the Y. Who are you writing down all the letters in the alphabet? 
Yeah. <laughs> um, I feel like Puya is like uh, taking more notes here. Yeah, he's dialed in. Oh, yeah. I would like to solve the puzzle, please. Go yes. in. Mm-hmm. Go yes. in. Give me for the W for, for Chappelle's w. demise. Shout out to Aisha. Shout out to Matt. Shout out to anyone that Chappelle took out of the game. Mm-hmm. I'm going to guess for the win. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Deborah. Yay! That we is have a correct. D E B R A. S tier. S tier. S tier. Yeah. And once again, the wow. Puya Puya. wins. The man doesn't lose. He again. just does it. Every game. Unbelievable. The champion of His dual champ. intentions. Wow. Can I say something? How does this rank? I, um, I lied. I watched Cruel Intentions 1. Um, I did uh, not watch Cruel Intentions 2. <laughs> Look at him. The ringer. He's. He did get all Smoke the questions like right he, in round one. Yeah, he, he did not hide it. Came yeah. in and smoked them. Thank, th- I'm and just really, happy I think he was the, the fan favorite there. Because Chappelle, <laughs> really? you know, mm-hmm. he made a lot of enemies along the way. Chappelle, Puya played a little bit more of a social game. Okay. Oh, flashy player. I, I'll take that. Puya, <laughs> it's been a pleasure losing to you again in another one of these mm-hmm. games. So thank you so much. Yeah. Chappelle, did the you power. make other plans? Did they get screwed up? Um, kind of close. Uh, definitely uh, had an appointment with uh, a dealer of sorts um, mm-hmm. to buy some things. Uh, yes. But, yeah. Are you purchasing a used car? Yeah, Vegetables, so right? Mm-hmm. They're yeah, very expensive these days, used cars. It, 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 yeah. Well, you know, you call the guy, he doesn't pull up, and he doesn't mm-hmm. pull up he's in a different city. It's really hard to find mm-hmm. a good car dealer sometimes. And so mm-hmm. I'm going to go run after that. Y'all have a great time. It's been a pleasure. I cannot stick it's, around for the rest of it. It's been an honor, Chappelle. Yes. We appreciate okay. it. Okay. Thank All right. you. All right, Chappelle, All right. talk to you again soon, okay? All right, peace. Bye. All right, let's, do you want to welcome in the entire uh, yeah, remaining let's welcome panelists? Yeah, We're going to do yes. a quick, uh, quick mailbag here. All right, <laughs> quick mailbag. All right, so uh, panelists are back, uh, still with us uh, at this hour. Uh, we have Aisha, reactions on uh, Chappelle not winning, Aisha? You know, I am so happy Chevelle, or Chevelle, Chappelle. Chevelle, <laughs> yes. Uh, Latanya. Afternoon. Yeah. Um, I had to give vindication for Latanya, for Matt. He was just taking people out left and right. Mm-hmm. You know, it's good gameplay, but at the end of the day, I'm, I was just so happy to see Pia take him out. Mm-hmm. I got y'all. I got you. I knew I, I was going to get the revenge for you. You know, that's how yeah. it's going to go. Thank you. Yeah, really good job, Puya. This is the first time that I have been on Renap and lost a game. Mm -hmm. And so I am not happy. Did any of you know the (laughs) Momdal answer before Puya did? Yes. Yes. Deborah. They they all did. (laughs) Yes, you did. Mm -hmm. Uh, By the way, Deborah is uh, Dan Sinensky's mom. Dan, help me come up and, and tinker with a lot of these games and uh, at some point along the way, I thought of Momdal for the final two game, and I said, "Damn, this is a this is a random question." But does your mom have a five letter name? <laughs> Which is a very bizarre question mm-hmm. to ask somebody out of the blue. And he's like, "She does." Okay. And I thought Deborah's pretty much a perfect Momdal name. So could we just question Saber, Saber? as a mom name? That I'll explain. I'll explain. <laughs> I think he was. I think he was trying to get no information. And yeah. So nice, when like, I okay. when I yeah. went with Aubrey, I realized. The the thought of Aubrey ending with an E is very unlikely, mm-hmm. and I didn't want to go with Y. And I'd figured out that R is going to end up in the in the middle of the two. So mm-hmm. then that's why I specifically changed the spelling back to E and R instead of R and E for Saber, so that Chappelle wouldn't get the R figured out, which I think ended up helping me. I mean, whatever happened there, it did throw Chappelle off of his answer, where he yeah. had a, he had yeah. something written down on the piece of paper. <laughs> it was on his head. Uh, then you said saber and then he had to throw his paper away. So, uh, I don't know what happened. Okay. All right. Um, Akiva, uh, yes. what do we, do we have listener submitted mailbag entries for today? I'm sure we do, but you know, I've been working on this game all week. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so really kudos to them. Akiva, put a lot of work into dual intentions. So what, are, what are you looking for here? Me? Well, if, let's, if the panel yeah. has any ideas and then otherwise I, I would love the, the panel. I mean, I've got other stuff and then, yeah, we could spin the wheel pretty quickly. Um, I do think we should put straight onto the wheel, although obviously they'll need at least a week or two of uh, of prep. We should put uh, if Jenny Autumn is OK with it, I think we should put on uh, claim to fame. OK, find Renap personalities, <laughs> relatives. OK, uh, so we are going to be hearing from uh, the relatives of uh, different 
Renap celebrities, mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, we're trying to determine who they are related to. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, what else, Akiva? Um, I was wondering if any of the esteemed panels, Matt or Aisha, Kelly, Latanya, or Puya, five people left. Have did you see my a, name like that? What, what did like, I say? You were like, with Matt, Aisha, Latanya, or, or Puya. Well, you were the winner. In theory, you're like, not the, they're like the people who were, they're not still here. I don't know, whatever. It's late. <laughs> it's late for with me. You. Just messing with you. <laughs> um, it's, uh, uh, so all five of them, if any of them have, an, uh, have a wheel pitch, I'd love to hear it. If not, I'll give you one from the listeners and then we'll spin the wheel. All right. Um, so I already didn't like mine. So no. yeah, yeah, I, I have I have. So what I did, I looked back at my notes. I've been a long time Renat fan, even though this is my first time on. Yes. And I found a list from December 2019. Oh, my oh, God. Wow. It, it includes the musical before the musical happened. So I don't know what that was about, but I do have one that's good on here. Most of these are horrible. Um, Rob and Akiva help. Uh, not not a name, but Rob and Kiva help people like uh, punch up their social media handles. Because Rob, I know you don't love the underscores and like mm -hmm. the random numbers and letters and whatever it is. What if people come on and they give you their horrible social media handles and you make them better? Uh, that's pretty interesting. I mean, we just uh, did the naming convention. Nobody asked for us to punch up their uh, Twitter handles. Uh, Akiba, do you think we get a podcast out of punching up uh, social I, media handles? I think it's a fun idea. I don't know if it's a full episode. We, it's something we've talked about a lot. We like doing. Um, I just I don't know if we're going to get like, you know, first of all, I think it's like fun the first couple. And then it's like, all right, we got to do like 20 more of these, you know, it's more of like a mini segment to me than perhaps a full episode. Mm -hmm. so I, ha I have like a few others that are listed down. I have yeah, no clue. Yeah, what we want to hear your are. whole list from 2019. We no, no, no. It's most of it's horrible, but I'll give you three of them. And I don't know what these ideas are, but these are names. Uh, Robin Akiva gets scammed. Robin Akiva. Scammed or scammed? I think it's scammed, sca scammed is what I was going okay. for. How do we get yeah. scammed? I don't know, Rob. This was me in 2019. Oh. I don't remember. Like we, just, like, tra like we just tweet out our social security numbers. I mean, whatever. You could figure it out. Hmm. Um, Robin Akiva's kids host a podcast. You tried that. Like, look, they yeah. could, maybe maybe we go back to that. Well, uh, and then I don't know why I have Robin Akiva finds their goop. I Find, believe oh. that's a I don't even know. Gwyneth Paltrow so, reference. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Hmm. Like we go through her site and uh, that might be fun. Like, hmm. I, don't know. I feel like it's more of a news yes. AF idea where we talk about uh, Gwyneth and, and Goop. It's a crossover. It's a crossover. Yes. Hmm. Um, I have a punch up for sc getting scammed. You guys yeah. could basically create a multi-level marketing scheme. So, mm. you know, uh -oh. there's so many out there like leggings, mm -hmm. hair care, whatnot. You can come up with your own Robin Akiva based yeah. one. Can exactly. I play, speaking of getting scammed, can I play for you from the fa from the Facebook group? Uh, we got our first video in the Facebook group uh, this week from David from Sweden. OK, OK, uh, here's what here's what David from Sweden had to say to uh, the Renap Facebook group. Hello. I'm David from Sweden. Happy to join the group. Hello, hello. Uh, one thing that's been bothering me for years and years and years, listening to Renap. We both wanted to say when, it. Whenever you talk about the Norwegian TV series, uh, the one that starts with the letter S, mm -hmm. you pronounce it really, really weirdly. Uh, you say scam. Scam. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the the thing is that it's very easy. So it's actually it's scum, scam, like in scumbag. Okay. Well, you're he's saying kind of like scam bag. Sc scum, scum. It should be called. It's, I think it, it confused me more, David. It's scam, scum. scum. No, it's scum, scum like scumbag. Scumbag. I thought he was saying scam bag. Scumbag. Scam bag. Like What's a scam bag? I don't know. You're a scam bag. I don't know. Uh, listen. <laughs> Throw away scam bags around. I don't know. Scum. Scum. He says it, should, it is pronounced. We apologize. Now it's okay. a Norwegian show. Yeah. I don't know. Like he's Swedish. I don't know. It's a different language. I don't know. 
I have a question for yes. Robin Akiva. Yes. When's the when's the next competition that I can be a part of? Oh, you want to be? When is the next game? In, yeah. Pitch Could be next idea. week. Let's spin the wheel. Find out. Oh, mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> By the way, it's not next week. I, if I have to do this again, I'm gonna like. <laughs> all right. <laughs> the ocean. Hey, Kiva, did you say you had one listener idea? Hold I on, can read us one. a listener idea. I have one. And Aisha has one. Not gonna like it. Mm. No, go first, Aisha. Who's not gonna like it? Akiva's not gonna like it. Okay. So after Matt say that he found some notes from 2018, I I was scrolling through my phone of my Renac notes from the beginning of my alms buzz days to now. What about Robin Akiva revised the constitution? Because it's past time. Oh, well, Akiva Akiva is not going to like that. (laughs) That's what I said. Mm -hmm. Revise it like like if we put one more line that's like everything above is null and void i would be okay with that we could abolish the constitution i see i don't want to do that i'd rather ignore it (laughs) (laughs) i don't want to get people too mad yeah i think that's what they would call too woke for this particular audience Mm -hmm. that's just a feeling i have i don't know why i have it but (laughs) <laughs> rip up the constitution um all right a couple listener ideas rob yeah uh this is from melissa from madison she says can you bring back the song of the summer for the end credits for the rest of the summer so the the, the song of summer 2021 will that confuse people i don't think so hmm why we could do 2020 also do, w- w- listen if you want to hear an Akiva podcast that ends with uh, a four minute song, then oh, four uh, minutes. You wish four minutes. <laughs> yeah. Go check out the 32 fans podcast. We dropped a 15 minute song to end the, the last mm-hmm. Patreon episode. I'm sure everybody stuck around to hear yeah, it. I'm sure. <laughs> it's a good yeah. song. Um, all right. So, yeah, so that's what Melissa from Madison wants. Um, and then we have. No, that's not a good idea. I scream, you scream, get several of the RGP podcasters record themselves screaming. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> okay. You yeah. ready to spin? You want to spin the wheel? Uh, the, it is from Dub J. It's the edit cast. Edit cast. And, and it's et, et, like etiquette cast. He's saying, okay. Uh, Robin Akiva explored the world of etiquette, which one of you knows more about prop, which one of us knows more about proper behavior and manners than the other one. Take some online etiquette quizzes, look at Dear Abby Cobbs, or even bring in an etiquette expert. Situations will be posed to you. You debated how to act and reveal the correct answer. For do example, you're an etiquette expert. I'm sure somewhere in the in the mm-hmm. Renapa verse. Uh, for example, you overhear coworkers having a rude conversation about you. What do you do? What would you do there, Rob? I mean, in this case, it would have to be like Sam Moore and your wife or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Having a rude <laughs> conversation about, about me? About oh, my you, God. You know, like, oh, my God. <laughs> it was so yeah. like you hear a coworker. I guess you give him a stone cold stunner. Like, I don't know. What are you supposed to do? <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know. Um, if I was in an office, I heard like, uh, yeah. like I think I just like walk over and act like Excuse uh, me, gentlemen. Yeah. Hey, what's happening? Mm-hmm. I don't know. The correct answer, Rob, is that you go get one of your children and tell them to put their shoes on because mm-hmm. the person that you have to fight who's been talking about you might have a kid who also needs to be fought. That's what TikTok has taught me. Oh, oh my god <laughs> so instead of like when you were a kid it's like oh my my dad has beat up your dad uh, so you say you have your kid challenge this is like a tag team you and your kid versus them and their kid yes oh, wow. yeah because i guess it's more socially acceptable for children to fight than adults exactly. like this yeah, is for like children to, a child to beat up another child that's fine <laughs> yeah you should beat up any children rob even if they're talking smack about you yeah okay uh but i guess I that used have, like, to be why people had children is to, to be able to get to their have, fights yeah yeah i gotta get like fight club going on here with my kids just like mm-hmm. uh love sparring it. against each other in case anybody's ever like t- talking bad about me in the comments we don't talk about fight club <laughs> that's true that's true all right a- anything else the from way. the panel all right okay no, Let's- but we're, so we're officially putting on did we officially put on the claim to fame on the wheel i think we did, i already right? played the sound yeah oh, okay perfect okay all right season three episode seven the fishbowl is uh in the mix so the coin flip the crappy movies i have a guest choice that'd be you complicated right or is puya as the winner has the most clout yeah i think puya probably gets it he, puya, why did you change team. your lights to yellow was that celebratory gold yeah. gold got look, it look at my belt right here chilling mm-hmm. yeah okay 
Uh, we have Oops All Mailbag, listener choice. I literally just told you, Renapper's gone wild. Uh, we have Robin Akiva need a new catchphrase. Robin Akiva hit rock bottom. Air Buds, Robin Akiva are unhinged. Name that tune. Transform X, uh, the lying episode. At Latanya, are you ready for that one? Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Never not ready for that. Okay. The Wheel of Podcasters, which I kind of feel like was today. No, Akiva? This was the, what does that mean? It was today. Like, I feel like uh, that the Wheel of, the wheel of Podcasters is... Well, wheel uh, of Podcasters is a wheel. It's a, it's just the mechanism where we pick someone to come on the show with us. Okay. Uh, does Nicole know it and claim to fame, uh, which is not eligible for the wheel this week. Mm -hmm. Episode 184 is coming up next. Let's go ahead and find out what it is going to be all about. Here we go. I'm rooting for something that doesn't require a lot of prep, but we'll Mm -hmm. see. Okay. Episode 184 is name that tune. Oh, okay. Okay. So now next week when Will from America is back here, sure, that would make sense to play one of his uh, hit bangers to close out the show. Mm -hmm. Will from America will join us as Akiva and I face off in Name That Tune. Akiva, who listens to every new album that comes out, uh, the prohibitive favorite to win, Name That Tune. Doing a bracket currently of the song of the century. Yeah, Will Will from America came on with us. Oh, okay. He was on one of the episodes. Check that out. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, check in with our panel here as we start to wrap things up. Okay, Aisha, anything you want to tell people to check out? Uh, Nothing I want to tell anyone to check out. I do want to say thank you for letting me come on today. It was so much fun to play with all of you. Congratulations again, Puya. Rob, thank you so much for all the coverage especially this season with Big Brother, like it's been rough and the ability to laugh in spite of the bad things going on in the house are just very important. Mm-hmm. I know like Pooh is on the live up feed, live up live feed updates. Yep. But like, it's been really helpful having all of our HAP talking about the things that are going on in the house and not like glossing over it. So thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for uh, saying that. And always great to have you back with us, Aisha. All right, Matt Scott, wrestling wrap up coming this weekend. Yeah, wrestling wrap up coming this weekend. Pod friends coming this weekend. Also, uh, Renap coming this weekend. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, be I don't sure know to check out I'll Matt ever... Scott on Renap, everybody. Yeah, who, mm-hmm, who knows? Please. Yeah, if you if you haven't checked me out already, you, you're checking me out on Renap right now. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Uh, and yeah, that's that's what's going on. I am actually in uh, Philadelphia now for a watch party for Survivor Philadelphia oh. season two, which I'm part of. So check me out on that. Uh, yes and just uh follow me matt scott gw that's you could check out the link in bio for all of the links um what's the gw is it george washington it's it's Gone the wild? george washington university <laughs> or goodwill or colonial good wrestling or go go wolonials wo- maybe yeah okay. that could work mm-hmm. uh, yeah. yeah all right uh matt so nice to have you. Was this your Renap debut this today? This is my Renap debut, and it was traumatic. I don't mm-hmm. know if I'll ever be able to come back, but let's let's. No, it's not always well, funny. I'm games. pretty sure we have season three, episode seven of Monday Night Raw in the mail in the fishbowl. Yeah, right? we or do have Sma- that. It's Raw or SmackDown. I don't remember, but if it oh, comes I don't, up, it might be I'll, SmackDown. I don't remember. I'll okay. come back. I think I, I need a tag team partner back next time. We can figure just to someone out if the... it's that for sure. Thank you. Yeah, Mari mm-hmm. and I will happily be back. Okay. All right. LT, what's coming up for you? Um, so congratulations, Puya. This was a true gauntlet. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't it even. Was. I was not expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. Um, but thank you all for having me on. I really appreciate being here. This has been a good start to my Saturday. Um, mm-hmm. you can find me um on. I think it'll start at episode four um, over at Post Show Recaps for the TV show Blackbird, which is an Apple TV Plus show wherein um, the young man who played Elton John, who has a name that I can't remember, Taron Edgerton, um, has to go into a mental ward in order to befriend a serial killer and find out where he has um, placed a body. So, oh my, an uplifting show. 
um, that I'll be doing with Grace Leader and the other Ariel. And then you can catch me on this coming week's crime scene with Sarah and Mari Forth, uh, two of my favorites, mm -hmm. um, along with my new favorite Aisha uh, today. Um, and I'll be talking about uh, Netflix's The Girl in the Photograph or The Girl in the Photo. You don't want to listen to this podcast unless you have watched. You can find me online at LK Starks. Okay. Um, where where do we watch the girl in the Netflix was Netflix. Uh, girl in the photograph? Okay. Yeah. For girl in the picture, maybe. Okay. Either picture or photo, but you'll find it. Okay. Um, great job today, Latanya. Kelly White. Thank you. Mm. What's coming up for you? Yeah, just hanging out on Nathan for Us podcast. Come listen to us talk about yes. rehearsal. It is hilarious. Kelly, um, well, you've been a, a prolific uh, TikToker, I feel like, <laughs> since your last uh, Renap appearance. Yes, um, I do post a lot on TikTok. On but, Book uh, Talk. I, I only really post about books. So if you are into reading and books, um, you can follow me on TikTok at Kelly W. I don't know. It's fun. I like reading. Yeah. I stay in the library. Yes. Uh, do, do you get a lot of traction with uh, the Book Talk? Um, I got one that was like very well received. I got like 40,000 views, 47,000 oh. views. But other than that, like not really. I just kind of do it for, you know, just for mm -hmm. fun. What kind of books do you read? I mainly read horror, sci-fi, and a little romance to keep it light. Okay. All right. Well, uh, great job, Kelly. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to check out the rehearsal. And then I want to definitely check out the podcast as well. Okay. Thank you, Rob. I'm very excited for you to hear it. I think it's going to be really fun. The show okay. is very wacky. Yeah. The, the issue is that I think that uh, my wife does not think Nathan is funny. Uh, mm. And I think I have to find uh, time to watch it by myself. Okay. It's a bad take, but yeah. Look, I hear you. Add it to the pile, Akiva. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, and then, uh, Puya, what's coming up for you? Well, I just want to say off the top, thank you so much, everyone, for this, uh, you know, the last three hours. It's been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed myself quite a bit and we all won because Chappelle didn't so kudos to all of us mm -hmm, for making that mm -hmm. happen yeah um uh other than this you can find me over on twitter at puyaism of course you can find me on twitch twitch.tv slash puya do stream there two three times a week have a good time there come say hi would always appreciate that the 90 day fiance world has been on fire this past week we found out the cast for the upcoming happily ever after yikes mm -hmm. but i will be there to conduct the hot mess express through all of it i had liana on this week again for the second time in a row and brian scally will be joining me next week to talk about this next episode and uh aside from that just uh hope everyone has a good weekend or had a good weekend if you're listening to this in the weekday all right congratulations again puya and, and akiva what's coming up for you uh, NGOG got back in the studio last week we did our between seasons movie we like to watch and then uh, this week, we've got season four of uh, the, the premiere of season four, which is the halfway point of the television show New Girl. OK, on 32 fans, we uh, we continued our song of the century bracket and Chester and I played a game on the Patreon episode, did some other stuff um, and more coming this week. All right. Uh, thank you all so much for listening to uh, the first ever uh, dual intentions. Akiva, get you some rest. will be a second ever? Maybe. Maybe the uh, the response will be Fine. like... I'll make a deal. I'll make you a deal. If the response yes. is good, it's 20 to 1 next time. 20 oh to God. 1. <laughs> it's dual in 20 shins. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, I, I, you know what, uh, Akiva, do you have anything left in the tank for uh, yeah, the... We have to tell people what we learned. All right. To tell what what did we what did we learn today? Controversial segment. Yeah, I feel like that. Um, since we said like, oh, the audience really liked it. I think we've only heard from people who said they don't they don't mm -hmm. like it. Or they, they don't care for it, or it's yeah. mid, or mm -hmm. it's lukewarm. Maybe we'll scrap it at the end of the summer. Okay. All right. Here we go. Uh, what what did we learn today? Here. Um, all right. Here we go. Episode number 182. What did we learn here today? <sighs> Episode 182. Or 183. I think it's 83. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes the intentions could be more <laughs> lukewarm and hummus <laughs> isn't boring. Thank you, Puya. I learned 
that it's much easier to do a podcast where we just watch an episode of a show than to invite 13 guests on and spend 20 hours making a game. But you know what? It's about the journey, not the destination. Except when you're on Spirit Airlines. Okay. All right. Hold on.